Hello, 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 hello. My name is. Don't feel drop side. Hello, my name is Don't feel drop side. I am Don't feel drop side. Zen and I'm Don't feel drop side. I'm Don't feel drop side and in right now. <laughs> yeah. So what happened was. So in OBS, in OBS, in OBS, in OBS, there's like two buttons that you can press on the right. One is start streaming, and the other one is start recording. So, I foolishly clicked start recording instead of start streaming. <laughs> he's cute, he's cute. No, he's Dopio Dropside. Welcome very much, everyone, to another Dopio Dropside stream with your host, Dopio Dropside. And I'm dropping in to say hello. Obvious is a silly setup. That's true. That's true. Hmm. But I'm getting used to it. I'm what a misclick guy. It's the button's fault. That's right. That's right. That's right. If the button had been behaving, then I would have been fine. But the button was not behaving. The button was misdisciplined. So I clicked the button by accident. What a silly guy. Yeah. Oh, bad button. <laughs> you guys are silly. What a bad button. I can't believe that Dope has got a bad button. You signed up for a chrono arc? So, you know, it's really weird. It's really weird. It's really weird. There are a lot of games that I know that a lot of you guys have never played. And so I'm always wondering how your first impression of the game is. When I play it, you know, because it's a game I like. There are going to be games that I really like, but they are going to be games that I'm sure that most of you don't know. And um, because it's a game I like, I always want to give it the best impression that I possibly can. So as to honor the game, right? As to honor the game. Now, this one in particular, Chrono Arc, is, uh, is really interesting. It's really interesting. Because it is sort of like Inscription in the way that it is a card-based roguelike game. But it's also very anime-like. It's also very uh, Slate Aspire-like. It's also very ARG-like. There's like a really, really, really big story behind everything. So it's really fun. It's really fun. It's really fun. Yeah. Deck game. TCGs are always fun. I, I wouldn't call it a trading card game like Yu-Gi-Oh. Hmm. You're honestly happy seeing me play regardless of what it is? Hey, hey. That's true sidekick mentality. And all I can say is thank you so much for that. He really is a card MC. Hmm. <laughs> I ended up getting some games that you played because it seemed so fun I had to play it myself. Oh, for real? Heck yeah. So I hope that you ended up liking the game too. Does it have big deck energy? Uh, sort of. Sort of, sort of. Um, it's one of those where you're not supposed to have your decks too big. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to show it to you guys. <laughs> Hopefully my internet doesn't die like it did during the collab stream with Vare yesterday. 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 It was kind of, it was kind of nerve-wracking having to deal with like internet connection issues. So, you know, yikes. But I think everything's going fine today. I think everything's going fine today. Haven't had a single issue while I was uh, cleaning the kitchen. Hmm. <laughs> you know, um, I mentioned it earlier, um, but. I'm planning on having a karaoke stream sometime in the beginning of February. And so, to do that, I was, um, like, singing along to a bunch of songs while cleaning the, uh, kitchen. Shitarasu says, Can always count on you for the fun game, Rex. Thanks. Hey, thank you very much for your kindness, Shitarasu. Scuff be gone. And so what I, what I, what I ended up doing was, uh, I kind of made, like, a, uh, playlist. A playlist of songs to listen to while I'm uh, cleaning the kitchen. <laughs> but I got a little bit too ham into it. I got a little bit too into like creating playlists for different songs. Like now I have a playlist for cleaning the ball pit, 
have a playlist for cleaning arcade machines. I've got a playlist for cleaning the kitchen. And I even got a playlist for cleaning up the bathroom. So, um, so, logically speaking, logically speaking, logically speaking, the next step was to find songs that fit the uh, bathroom playlist. Hearing Pio sing Sin Tascaru? I sang a little bit here and there. I think during the, uh, I think during the, uh, the uh, Project Diva livestream the other day, I sang a little bit some songs. Like, uh, I was really proud of myself when I hit some notes in Ghost Rule. Ghost Rule is really hard to sing. Um, so, where was I with the story? Where was I with the story? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, um... I was... making a playlist for a... like, a playlist of songs to sing while in the bathroom. And I was looking up songs that had the word bathroom in it. So... I found a song called Michael in the Bathroom. It's like a, uh, it's like some kind of like a uh, musical song, but it's really catchy. It's about this guy who's uh, by himself in the bathroom <laughs> because his friend ditched him at a party. So he's just chilling at the bathroom. Yeah, you know that one. Michael in the bathroom, Michael in the bathroom at the party. That one, that one, that one. Yeah, yeah. It's so, it's so catchy. It's so catchy. It's super catchy. Kiseki2801 says, Can't wait for the karaoke stream. I might not make because of classes, but I'll be looking forward to the VOD. Excited to hear you sing, Pyo-chan. You have a very cool voice, so it'll be super fun for all of us. Aww. Hey, 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 hey. Thank you very much, Kiseki. For the magenta soup and for your kind words, I... Yeah, I, I hope to do well for the karaoke stream, too. Um, it's a little bit nerve-wracking because I want to give you guys my best shot. Um, though part of it being my best shot is memorizing every single lyrics. Every, every single lyric. Um, and there are some songs that don't really have an instrumental to them, so... Perhaps the entire karaoke stream could just be an acapella. So you'll just have Dopio's raw vocals. The whole time. Uh, let's see. Lisa says, "Nice job cleaning up. I have so much to look forward to. I don't know what I do. I don't know what to say." <laughs> yeah, this whole year is gonna be full of things to look forward to. Promise. Um. Yeah, be more chill. That's the name of the uh, musical. Be more chill is uh, the thing for the musical. What a guy going for a cappella. You know, a lot of people are saying, Oh, Dopey, are you going to do acapella? Acapella is so hard. You're not going to be able to hide under any, uh, under any of the uh, instrumentals in the back. I thought to myself, You know, singing along to instrumentals is hard. Because when you sing along to instrumental, you have to make sure you match the instrumental's key all the time. I, I forget how to do that a lot of times, so if I just sing acapella, I can sing whatever key I want. And, uh, you, normally I listen to really cute songs, so whenever I have to, uh, when, whenever I sing along to an instrumental of a really cute song, it's super really high. Right? It's super, super, super really high. Like, what was that, what was that song that, like, made its way around the internet? It's like, Right? But then, when you go like really, really high, it's like... <laughs> See, that, that was really off, but yeah. So, I think what ended up happening was that I listened to so many cute songs so much that I ended up having to, uh... <laughs> I ended up I ended up developing, like, a uh, really, really, uh... What, what do you call that? I ended up developing a shoddy falsetto. <laughs> what a cute guy. So you can do high notes? Yeah. 
I can do high notes. Hmm. I can do high notes. I mean, you know, when it comes down to, uh, when it comes down to living by yourself, you kind of end up, like, uh, you kind of end up having to do a whole lot of cleaning work. So, there's not too much you can do while cleaning. <laughs> the only thing you can do while cleaning, I think, is singing. Like, legitimately, cleaning can be really boring. But if you can sing while cleaning, shoddy. No, no, not shoddy. Not like shoddy. Not shoddy, but like shoddy. As an S H O D D Y. <laughs> like shitty, but PG. <laughs> it's not shitty, it's shoddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shoddy wanna thug. Bottles in the club. Yeah. Yeah, shoddy. <laughs> yeah, I have a shoddy, shoddy voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got a very shoddy, shoddy voice. Damn, they got the don't be ill for sad. Oh, thank you very much, Ashlyn Dietrich. It's kind of this guy who cleaning, singing while cleaning is just superior. It's true. It's true. I mean, le legitimately, there's nothing else to do uh, while cleaning than singing. Really, I guess you could dance, but maybe only slightly. A lot of the time, I'm on like I'm on like my hands and knees. Um, like, one thing that I gotta do, I mean, like, like, uh, like, um, so, the other day, I think it was, like, last week, I, um, I broke a glass shelf in the shower. You know, like, the shelf that holds all the shampoos, all of the, uh, conditioners, all of the, uh, soap, the shaving, uh, stuff. It just, br it just, it just, like, fell onto the floor and, ba 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 so it's on my hands and knees, like, uh, cleaning the, uh, the glass shards off the floor. Um, and, uh, it ended up going even more than that because there was, uh, grout. And so I had to clean the grout. I was like, oh, I don't like those, I don't like those stains in the middle of my tiles. <laughs> Let me get rid of those real quick. It was not real quick at all, I had to Google how to get rid of grout. Bro, share your playlist, I'm begging. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a bunch of Keshi. There's a lot of Joji. There's a lot of, uh... There's a lot of... Uh, shoot, what's the other one? There's a lot of... There's like one or two... Hmm... There, there's a bunch of Pinocchio P songs in it. There's a bunch of... There's a bunch of Juice World. There's a bunch of... Uh, what else is in my playlist? Uh, I'm doing it from the top of my head. Uh, off the top of my head. There's a lot of... Um, Gene Dawson. There's a lot of... Who else? Who else is there? There's a lot of Gaga. There's a lot of Melanie Martinez. Yeah, Melanie Martinez is so good. A lot of people ask, hey, Dumpy, what's your favorite Melanie Martinez song? That's kind of lame, because my favorite Melanie Martinez song isn't even a real Melanie Martinez song. That's the one that's like, It's my party and I cry if I want to. That one. But that's not a real Melanie Martinez song, because she just covers it. Cry, cry. Da 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 do do da ba ba ba. Yeah, pity party, pity party. It's pity party. Did the shower incident make you put hair cream in your eyes before the D&D? No, it was after. Uh, before the D&D stream. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So that was that. that's the story that Aya Senpai, Aya Senpai told. Right? So, uh, for those of you who don't know, what happened was, before the D&D collab on Aya Senpai's stream, um, I was taking a shower. I was taking a shower. And, um... So I don't have a shelf anymore in my shower. I just have a bunch of my products on the floor of the shower. And uh, a lot of them are imported. A lot of them are imported. And kind of newish, so I'm not really too familiar with them. But, you know. 
If, uh, thing is, thing is, thing is, if I'm going to stream my face, it better be a handsome face, you know what I mean? If I'm going to stream my face, it better be a really handsome face. Or else I wouldn't be, or, or else I wouldn't be, uh, or else I personally wouldn't be, uh, confident enough to show my face around here. So, um, basically, I tried getting the good stuff as recommended by Kotoka, and a whole lot of my product is on the floor. And I picked them up, and uh, it's kind of hard to see. It's kind of hard to see. Um, it's, it's a little bit of a, it's a little bit of a spoiler, but, uh, you know. So, I wear contacts when I stream, but, but, uh... Most of the time, I'd say I'd say maybe about like 55% of the time if I don't have to wear contacts. Because contacts are kind of icky to put on because they hurt. Sometimes I'll be wearing glasses. Sometimes I'll be wearing my glasses. And so after showering, right, I don't have contacts while I shower. But I'll be wearing glasses, so... I mean, you know, I'm wearing the glasses before the shower, right? And so, um, and so I didn't, I wasn't able to see what was on the, what was on the, uh, the new products that I got, right? So what happened was I, uh, I, I picked up, I picked up what I thought was going to be facial cream, you know, to moisturize, to soften my, uh, my pores and stuff, to make my face all soft and smooth and pretty. But, uh, it was hair cream. <laughs> so, so I looked in the mirror and I was like, yo, Toby. <laughs> that's some, that's some really stinging face cream. <laughs> Megan and male wife moment. Hey, I'm not Hex AY, I'm Dopey with drop style. But, uh, yeah, so I, I messed up. Messed up. And I got, like, a whole bunch of, uh, I got a whole bunch of, um, hair cream on my face and it kind of stung and I was like I'm not sure if it's supposed to sting this much I'm well I'm well aware I'm well aware that there's like a bunch of um there's a bunch of face creams that do kind of like sting a little bit um especially some that kind of um have like these like little sand particles I call them I'll call them sand particles if you know what I mean you know what I mean right but they're like sand particles they're not sand, but, you know, they feel like little tiny rocks that you kind of, like, just press into your face, and they go, shh, 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 right? You do that, and then it's supposed to make your face softer. Uh, the, the, the micro, what? Micro beads exfoliating? I don't really know, I don't really know. I'm not smart enough to know what the terms are or what they're supposed to be used for. All I did was I asked Kotoka, Hey, Kotoka, what am I supposed to do to be prettier? And she was like, okay, just do this, 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 and this. And I'm like, okay. Right? Do this, 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 and this. And I'm like, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And so I did. And so I do. And so I am. Thank you very much, Collapsey, for the... Sorry for a bad vision, but Megane Tascara. Hee <laughs> hee. Reese's Cup Zero Three Pro Protect Dopio 2023. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for your kindnesses. Um, so basically what I do is... So, so basically what happened afterwards was like, my face was stinging, and it felt different from the exfoliating kind of stinging, right? It felt really different. Like, to the point where I was thinking, you know, this feels really weird. It feels like my face is all oily. <laughs> And then, and then, and then I, uh, <laughs> so I washed everything off. And I told Aya Senpai, Aya Senpai, I'm, I, I'm gonna be late. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, <laughs> can you hold on for a little bit? I was like, no, don't worry, Dopey. We're, we're starting a little bit late anyway, because I, I need to, um, get ready for, uh, I, I gotta get ready a little bit. And I was like, okay, okay. So I washed my face off, and I look at the, uh, and I look at the product. I look at the product. I wish, I 100% wish, I could have told Aya Senpai and all my other Senpais who were in the call that that the reason why I put face and that I put hair cream all over my face was because the product wasn't even in English because it's imported. No, it was totally in English. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, so for no reason other than my blind stupidity. <laughs> I had face cream. I had, I had I had face cream all over my face. I mean, I had hair cream all over my face. And I went into the uh, Jeff the Chef detective collab with a bunch of uh, with a with a little bit of a sting sensation. Remember, make sure to read the label next time. I I guess, but do you? It, it's kind of crazy because like there's like a bunch of different little. Uh, vials, formulas, what, what do you call them? Like containers? It's a whole bunch of them. It's like a billion of them. You know, I might be pretty, but I'm also a guy. So, when I tell you that a lot of it is way too much to read, it really is way too much to read. <laughs> what I should do, what I should do, instead of reading the labels, I should just get like a piece of duct tape or something, put it on the thing and be like, okay, no matter what, no matter what it says here, no matter what it says, this is 100% face cream, this is 100% shampoo, this is 100% conditioner, this is 100% exfoliation cream, this is 100%, uh, what's that makeup removal thingy, whatever, the makeup removal thingy. <laughs> This is 100% soap. This is 100% cream. It's crazy. You're a boy and you read? Well, but you're not Dopio Dropside. <laughs> Male debuff? I wear makeup? Yeah, you can see. Right? Yeah, I'll go closer so you can see that I'm wearing makeup right now. Uh, let's see. You know, some people don't say, some people don't really say, Dopio, you wear makeup, don't you? Because, uh, they think that my eyes and everything look really, really, really natural. But honestly, if you take a close look, you can see some eyeshadow. You can even see that I'm wearing some, uh, I'm wearing some, some, uh, uh, other things to make me look pretty. Hot. That's true. That's true. There's a little bit that I'm wearing. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Too close? Really? Too close. Foundation. I have found... Foundation. That's like the one you put first, right? So when it comes to makeup, what I do is that I have a piece of duct tape on them. And... I label them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. <laughs> And I kind of, and I kind of like rely on muscle memory to figure the rest out. What a handsome guy in Toscana. Thank you very much, Ray. Uh, yeah, you got, you have to get like duct tape or like medical tape. Cause medical tape is like, uh, is white. So it's really easy to see when you like write Sharpie on it. Sometimes duct tape is like gray, but yeah. What a pretty guy. The smoky grunge. 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 Oh. So, uh... I just, I just remembered another story. I just remembered another story. There was this one uh, marshmallow I got. Um, actually earlier today. That said, Hey Dopio, during that stream with you and Ver, I heard, I heard a female voice kind of like, just scream into my ear. I was like, female voice? What female voice? Was it from their stream, my stream? So I took a look, and I was like, what could be a female voice coming out? Do you know what it was? Watch this, watch this. Listen to this, listen to this. You heard it? <laughs> yeah, it was Discord. <laughs> it was Discord. <laughs> I was like, who could it be? <laughs> I was like, am I being haunted again? <laughs> what? I spent 30 minutes trying to figure out what was going on. 
It was a Discord. Yeah. If you do, I remember, if you do like this really specific, if you do like this really specific code or something, it's kind of like some kind of hack thing that you do for Discord, right? But, oh no, no, not hack, like an Easter egg. So if you do that, then your Discord becomes kind of a weeb, right? It becomes a waifu. Yeah. So Discord says, Discord. <laughs> Since when does Discord have this sound? No, you kind of have to unlock it with an Easter egg. You switched my Discord, do that since I heard yours do it a few weeks ago. Yeah, it's really cool, isn't it? Discord waifu. <laughs> oh, you have to click on the icon like 15 times? Was that it? You know how to waifu, yeah, and my Discord. Discord best girl. <laughs> you have to spam click at the top right logo, oh. A gift tutorial? I don't remember what it is. It was like a billion years ago. I love getting greeted by Discord waifu. <laughs> he lost if he has a Discord waifu. Yeah, but it's actually Discord. Discord some... Uh... Yeah, you want to waifu fight your Discord? Top left. It works? You just did it? Yo, it's crazy, right? <laughs> I can't believe Joe feels dating Discord. <laughs> the rumors. <laughs> yeah, it actually works. Yo, it's crazy, right? It's crazy. I think that there's something else that unlocks when you use that Discord. When you use your like, when when you when you do that Discord Easter egg thing, I think that there's like another thing that happens besides the whole Discord becoming a. Uh, Getting that uh, sound effect. I'm pretty sure there's something else like you're able to unlock um, Like a high score or something <laughs> I need to change it back. Oh, I have no idea <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, how do you change it back? That's a really good question. That's a really good question. I have no idea. <laughs> but why would you ever want to change it back? When the D in Dopio stands for Discord. <laughs> okay, yeah. But who... See, the thing is, is that... The thing is that... Who would ever want to change their Discord? Back... Normal. Back to normal. You can toggle it for real? No turning back. And who would ever want to change him back? You just say what? You have you have to click it fifteen times to turn it off. Why would you ever want to do that? <laughs> Our sidekick's invited to the wedding. Well, you know, you know, I don't think that I'm ready to settle down with Discord. <laughs> I've got a new job. And that job is to be the Duke of Discipline. So, if need be, if need be, I will refuse Discord. And I will, I don't know, install Skype? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> it's over! It's over, Discord! It's over! I'm going back to Skype. You know what? You know, you know what? It's over between us, Skype! We're going to go back all the way to AOL Instant Messenger. We're going to AIM now, guys. Wait, no. No. It's over between us, AIM. We're going to go on to MSN Men... Wait, MSN Messenger. It's over between us, MSN Messenger. <laughs> We're going even more back. We're going to do letters. Send with quill and pen ink. <laughs> what what about WhatsApp? <laughs> oh shoot. No, WhatsApp WhatsApp is the future. I think WhatsApp's the future. I think WhatsApp is the uh, the future. Or something. Maybe WhatsApp is even more is is WhatsApp even newer than Discord? I, I don't even know. Don't be like anime girls are ruining my life and it's just Discord Skype and Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Milk programs. <laughs> Yahoo Messenger. 
<laughs> going, going black to going back to yeah, that's right, that's right. Who needs who needs pen and paper? We're going even more back. We're going even more back to clay tablets and writing on the walls. WhatsApp is made to Facebook. Ah, I see, I see, I see. It's I, I see, I see, I see. <laughs> Gmail. <laughs> no, no, we're at the clay tablets kittens now. <laughs> we're going back to carrier pigeons. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. My, my one true OTP. Carrier pigeons. <laughs> Smoke signals. No. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> Pants bust through the door. <laughs> better hide those. Better hide those clay tablets. <laughs> <laughs> Morse code? Yo. <laughs> Hide the clay tabs under your stone slab bed. <laughs> you know, I'm not I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the caveman actually slept on stone tablets. <laughs> slept on stone slabs. I'm pretty sure that's a Flintstones thing. I, I I don't know. I'm not an archaeologist or or historian or whatever, but I'm pretty sure that uh, that cavemen slip sleep slept in like they probably brought like I don't know what's the equivalent to like a pillow like leaves I don't know. <laughs> Tune in next time for the dopey afternoon drama. Ooh, another dad. <laughs> Animal pelts. I don't know. They most likely slept on furs. Ooh, that makes sense. <laughs> what do you mean the Flintstones isn't based on real life events? I don't know. <laughs> you know, I think the craziest part about the Flintstones was that they had animals to act as like their furniture. Now, <laughs> and then the animals are like, it's a job. Granddad. <laughs> Granddad. What are these stone tablets saying, son? I don't understand this. Granddad. For those of you who don't understand the Granddad meme, it's uh, it harkens back to I think I think it was a few years ago. The whole bunch of um, Flintstones, uh, Flintstones. Hmm. It's kind of like combining loss with music remixes, and every time you hear the Flintstones theme or Granddad, you are like, oh my god, it's it's one of those. It's it's like it's like it's like loss, but yeah. <laughs> you want to stand out your drink? <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, Siva Gunner, Silver Gunner, whatever. Did you t ever take those Flintstone vitamins, Dopia? They were pretty good. <laughs> I have, I have. I have. But not, they, they weren't gummies, were they? I don't remember them being gummies. I remember I had to like bite on them, like... <sighs> I remember I had to bite them. They, yeah, they weren't gummies, right? Maybe like the new age ones are gummies, but they were definitely, uh, they were definitely, uh, yeah, you had to like bite into them. I remember them really well because Fred was orange, Barney was purple, and I absolutely hated the taste of Fred. Even just, even like right now, just thinking about it is making my mouth water in a certain way. It's making me just want to spit because the Fred orange one was so bad. Tasting and the Barney purple was so strong But between the Fred orange and the Barney purple, I preferred the Barney purple. Yeah, Fred was gross. Yeah, it was like a bitter orange. Yeah Yeah There was a red one. I, I feel like there was a red one that I didn't mind as well 
mind as much. Yeah. What about the cereal? Oh, cereal's good. I like cereal. Base, base. Oh, wait. Hold on, hold on. We're not doing a Zatsu stream. No matter how fun this whole Zatsu is, we're here to play Chrono Art. <laughs> oh, but chatting with you guys is really fun. Chatting with you guys is super fun. Okay. All right, all right. So let's, uh, let's, let's go. First of all, first of all, first of all. First of all, first of all. Lamal, thank you for talking to you. Yeah, yo, it's fun. It's fun. I, I really like talking. I really like talking. Time flew by, yeah. We have a conversation here. In the Don't Feel Drop Science chat. Don't Feel Talks to Science Kicks about cave paintings. <laughs> 40 minutes? Oh my god, we had 40 minutes just talking stuff. Yeah. You didn't even realize? Oh dang, those are really... Those are long. Oh yeah, we we're supposed to play a game. Oh, right. Whoops. Whoops. Hey, whoops. Whoops. Many Zatsus. This becoming a Zatsu Tascario. The good stuff. Alright. So, first of all, we've got this art. Amazing fan art by at Kakao Bean. Kakao Bean. Right? So, I use in this fan art, this amazing fan art by at Kakao Bean. Right? It's really pretty. And I used it to make uh, to make this thumbnail. I made this thumbnail. So very much thank you to at Kakao Bean for letting me for, for giving me this fan art that I was able to use to make uh, the Chrono Arc thumbnail. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Did I make it yourself? Yeah, I made it myself. I made it myself. Okay, and then I'm going to button there. Now I get to uh, put this here. All right. Now I get to turn this off. Then I get to move this to the side a little bit. And I open up the game. And then I put chat. Make sure to put chat here. Gorgeous. Yeah. Very much thank you to add cow cow bean. Graphic design is his passion. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to start Chrono Arc. Chrono Arc is a really cool game. We're going to start all the way from the beginning. And it's going to be special because I never saw the cutscenes. I just played it for the gameplay, so we're going to see the cutscenes together. Start a new game. E yes. Ooh. So let me know if the volume's too loud, too, too little. Alright, let's, uh, too soft. Ooh, it froze. Whoa. Ooh, no. Welcome to the Ark. This is heaven where everyone's dreams come true. Okay, wait, lowering a little bit. People live together for a single hope. Yes, this is the world everyone wanted. Come on. Tell me, what do you desire? I desire everyone to come to my birthday celebration on January 31. Ooh, I don't remember this. Oh, another thing is that the game got updated really recently. So there are probably new updates at the beginning that I don't know about. It'll be there, and thank you. It'll be there. Ooh. Lucy! Oh, her name's Lucy. Oh, what? This way, Lucy. You're always too slow, kid. She's just a child. Don't be so hard on her. The bound sounds good? Okay. You need to go just a little further. You think you can make it? Yes, no problem. <laughs> yes, no problem. Don't push yourself too hard. Because you're the treasure of the investigation team. <laughs> oh, wait, no, that's not us. Oh, she's got a different expression on her face. Interact E. Okay. Alright. That's a smile to... Ooh. 
We'll take care of the monsters. Just lead the way for us. We will protect you. Don't worry. Let us know if you have any problems. I'm not scared. As long as everyone else is here. Ooh. Azar. Leon is kinda. You love the voices? I gotta figure out the voices. I gotta figure out the voices a little bit more. Might change a little bit. Hey, kid! Come here and eat this. Freshly cooked. Stay warm, Lucy. Wow, it's so warm. After collecting the last piece, we will head to the clock tower. Our journey's end is not far off. All thanks to Lucy. <laughs> huh, I'll give you some credit. Everyone, thank you so much. What's Azar got to say about this? We're almost there. It's time to restore the world. Pio, I'm not on screen. Uh, oh yeah, I made myself huge. There we go. Thank you. Oh, you can see her face, I think. Ooh, that's cool. Ooh. But it turns out that it's... It's actually one of those kinds of games. I was just gone a little off guard. So it ends like this. Joey's dead. I'm afraid this is my end. Lucy, run. Run as far away as you can. Leon died. Ugh. Just a little bit. If I'd done a little bit better, we could have operated the clock tower. Azar died. Oh, and they're Lucy. She crying. No. How did this happen? Please, everybody, wake up. I don't care what happens to the clock tower anymore, so please. Ooh. That night is approaching. Ooh, that night approached really hard. Ooh. These are gone. Don't worry. This is not the end. It's just another beginning. Because you are the hero of this world. What did I get you into? A good game, that's what. Now we can control Lucy. I can change my outfit here. Basic out for a cat outfit. Okay, basic outfit, because I don't have the cat outfit. I started a completely new game. Ooh, and we can turn off the lights. And that's not spooky at all. Ooh. Good morning. Are you ready? Let's leave now. Wait a minute. Lan told the investigation team about you yesterday. Talk to them if you have any investigators that you want to recruit to our party. Everyone is fired up about the news finding us a timeshade. Okay. And are you sure? About what? Despite what I said yesterday, there's no need to hurry. It's better to be thoroughly prepared. On that note, how about practicing in the training grounds? No thanks. Nice you. You could train the Ark at any time, so pay a visit if you need. Okay. Let's hurry and collect the time chart to activate the clock tower. Okay. You seem very determined. Let's go to the Twisted Land when you're ready. Okay. So now we can recruit 
our guys. So we're going to... Ooh, okay, I'm, I'm not... I'm not good enough to do expert, I think, but we're going to get some... We're going to use two boys. Or girls, or guys. So we've got Hein. Hein. I like Hein. Hein's really cool. Hein's really cool looking. You also got Joey. So Hain is... Hain is a warrior who harbors immense hatred towards the Church of Thanos. He is difficult to control due to his madness, but he has great potential. Has high maximum health and excels against hordes of enemies. You like Hain? Hain looks really cool. Hello, Hain. And we've got Joey. Joey is a genius chemist who previously worked at the research lab to create specialized equipment. Frustrated by the lack of progress, Joey decided to participate in the investigation of the Twisted Land. He can help allies or harass enemies with various buffs and debuffs. We got Miss Chain. <laughs> Ooh, thank you very much, Dorado, for the lunch of $100. Thank you for being so generous. Just dropping some love here. And thank you, people. Please take care and enjoy the impact. Pat. Thank you very much, Dorado. Oh, so generous. So generous. Thank you. I really appreciate it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do my best. Inspired. Okay. So, we've got Miss Chain. Who, now that I think about it, looks a lot like Kotoka. We've got Azar. Azar is oh Miss Chain Miss Chain thing Miss Chain loves destroying, burning, and cutting open anything in sight. She volunteered to join the investigation team to play around at the Twisted Land. What can she accomplish with her handmade flaming chainsaw? Miss Chain has great sustainability due to her passive and can set up advantageous situations for her teammates. We've got Azar. Azar is always composed and reacts skillfully to any situation, which makes him a great leader. The investigation team expects nothing less of him. He is an attacker who can combo his skills in various ways by repeatedly attacking enemies with his illusion swords. We've got Pressel. Pressel has strong faith as a priestess, and so she joined the investigation team to help purify the twisted land. She bring she brings stability to the team with strong healing and support skills. And lastly, we've got Ironheart. Not not from Overwatch. Ironheart is a leader of a private mercenary unit that lends manpower in exchange for gold. They are not on anyone's side, but are currently hired by the investigation team to find and rebuild the Timeshade. Ironheart can protect all allies and serves as a durable shield for your party. Ironheart can also utilize ally healing abilities to deal heavy damage to enemies. So, I'm recruiting Hein. You guys can vote between... You guys can vote between... Uh, let's see... Vo, uh, let's see, Holly, we've got Joey, Miss Chain, Azar, and who's the other one? Ironheart. Iron, Ironheart. I can only put four, so I, I left out Pressel. So yeah. Yeah, we got, we're getting Hein. Hein is one of my favorites. He's got a lot of that Yandere Levi Ackerman vibes, you know. He's got that super Yandere Levi Ackerman vibes. Ah, uh, you don't. Uh, so there's attackers, there are healers, there are tanks. So we have three kinds of characters. Um, but don't worry about it too much. Don't worry about it too much. I'm going to do my best to make sure that uh, to make to make sure that uh, we'll be okay no matter what. You want to see Miss Chain? Oh, so it's between Miss Chain and Azar. So yeah, we've got Miss Chain. Miss Chain has a really cool design, actually. Hmm. Actually, she seems to have my jacket. She seems to have a very similar jacket to me, which is kind of crazy. And Azar is a very hot boy. <laughs> Let's see. View info. What if I press view info? What happens? Ooh, got some stats here. Oh, a cool thing is that they have art for each one of their skills. Oh, we have... Oh, we can kind of see their... The other characters, too. There's a new boy? Ooh, I want to unlock the new boy really quickly. I've never seen him before. Okay. Jacket-sama. Okay, so end poll. Let's see. Who do we got? Who do we got? We've got... We've got... Miss Chain. Wow. Actually, Miss Chain? For real? I thought it would be Azar completely. 
yeah, there's a new boy. It's been a while since I played this game. But we'll use Miss Chain and, uh, Miss Chain and, and Hein. Okay. Miss Chain, Miss Chain, sorry, I love <laughs> She barely won. Yeah, it was really close. Okay, so in this game, there's basically like, um, levels, um, kind of like floors. I think floors is a bit easier to understand. So I'll call them floors. And so there's like a battle system. Battle system on level one is really simple. How foolish of you to block my way. See, does, does it show? I think it shows. Let me, let me, uh, do this so we can see it a l just a little bit easier. Okay. There we go. And now, so... Uh. Actually, how did I play this game, actually? Yeah, wait, how, how does this work? I'm thinking. Okay, so the enemy has, the enemy has HP here. And we have mana here. And depending on how much, and depending on how much, like, everything costs, we do things on that turn. Is that a good way to explain it? So, over here, we've got some skills. And over here on the bottom, we have, like, skills that they can use no matter what you draw that turn. Uh, okay, so, we're going to... Accelerate to on on Miss Chain's zoom. Miss Chain just blams, and then we'll use Hind to finish it off with another blam. Boring. And then we're gonna use Miss Chain to give a shield to Hind, and that's and yeah, I think that's it. End turn. All right. Whew. All right. So, so. The table over here attacked Hein, but Hein was protected. So now we just go BAM 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 with Hein. Ooh, but Miss Chain got hurt. So we're going to heal Miss Chain and uh, heal Miss Chain again. And end turn. So the thing is, is that. So, so what makes this game hard is that your HP doesn't recover. Your HP doesn't recover um, after every battle. You have to. Be wary about your entire, like, you have to be wary about all your character's HP, or else they'll just die. Is this a gacha game? No, this is not a gacha game. But it's really pretty, like a gacha game. Um, and you level them up by gaining these soul stones, if I recall correctly. But what we can do is we can spend two soul stones to increase our maximum mana to four. And that's what we do. Okay, is it permadeath? It is... I don't remember if it's permadeath, actually. It's been a while. Okay, so we're going to... Let's see. Accelerate this one. And we're going to attack the knight. And attack the knight again. And then we have enough to attack this one. And end turn. Alright. This is good. This gives you Etrian Odyssey vibes. Yeah, it's similar to Etrian Odyssey. It's a little bit if Etrian Odyssey was a roguelike. Seems like a gacha game without the gacha. <laughs> a little bit, but you unlock characters by going along the, uh, the story. Ooh, what you found here is either the Garden of Keys or the Inverted Cross Ornament. Apply a random negative enchantment to an equipment and obtain one skill book and 200 gold. Or take some damage. You know, we'll we'll go to the inverted cross. It looks kind of scary. Place an equipment. Wait, we don't have any equipment. Oh shoot. Okay, that was a waste. Uh, here we'll teleport here. All right. Damn Pharaohs! I'll kill them all. Inside, we get an axe of rage. All right, then it looks super cool so far. Yeah, it is really cool. Using the map, we teleport here to save some time. Sacrifice our acts of rage to the uh, to the cross. Bam. So uh, so we now we have a skill book, and we can use a skill book for hmm. Ooh, this one deals twenty two damage. So we'll get end of the line to Hein. 
and we'll equip the Axe of Rage to Hein and use Lifting Scroll, which will remove any debuffs to equipment. Oof. All right. So yeah, the game the game can get a little bit confusing, especially for uh, new players to follow along. But but don't worry. It's just going to look really pretty when I win. Okay, let's see. Uh wow, this is really weird. Okay, we'll use a library, but we'll use the library later. Madness is akin to gravity. I don't know why Hein says that, but okay, Hein. If you want to say weird things like that, Hein, go ahead. Press M to look at the map. Yeah, we've been doing that. Mm hmm. Ooh, a pile of bones. We get a skill thingy from the bones, and we use that to level up Hein. Wait, come on. I know. I know what to do. I know what to do. Level up by using soul stones. Yeah, so we'll level up Hein to level two. Hein now gains a passive called Madness. Whenever Hein defeats an enemy with a skill, cast it again with half damage to another enemy. And then we'll also get this one because it looks really cool. No, this one. Assault Slash because it attacks all enemies. Alright. Okay. Perfect. Wonderful, actually. And lastly, we'll go against the boss. Alright. Alright, alright. Okay, now we can go against the boss. There's a boss protecting the gateway to the next stage. Make sure to prepare before engaging in boss battles. Of course. We're OP, so we're gonna fight him. So, the boss battles in this game are really difficult. Except for the first one. The first boss is easy, but afterwards it gets really, 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 really complex and complicated. Ooh, what's this? Once. Discard after two turns. Okay. Ooh, I don't know what that did, but it was bad. All right, so we're going to accelerate Assault Slash. Use Assault Slash. Use Zoom. And now, BAM! Enter. Okay. Uh, now we're just going to use End of the Line and call it a day. So the first battle is really easy. First battle is really easy. You just need to sort of, like, make sure not to... Uh, make sure to always attack if you if you defend or anything. It's kind of a waste. So, all right, we'll take a book. We don't have any keys, so it's over. Uh, okay. Now I'll use this golden skill book. What's this? Oh, so when you beat the first boss, you unlock something called the golden skill book, and the golden skill book allows any one of your characters. To learn an ultra super rare move. Puppy's done for, yeah. But don't worry, don't worry, he's easy. Afterwards it gets really hard. But when you get this golden skill book, you are able to unlock an ultra rare skill for any for any of your characters in the party. Um each character has only two ultra rare skills that they ever get. So let's see, rage. Recast the next skill played from hand and take pain damage equal to 25% of max health. Okay. What's this, the other one? Dismantle armor. Uh. Can only be cast if burn is active. You know, I've I've played this game and I'm not really sure what's going on. But it dismantles an enemy's armor. So you know, what? we'll dismantle armor. That sounds that sounds kind of cool. And we'll call it a day. There, we go to the next level. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of hmm going on. Campfires are located between stages. Campfires restore health and revive. Ah! Yeah. So, if they die, you'll have to wait until you get to a campfire. Okay. For example, consume items differently inside a campfire. For example, bread will heal all allies instead of just one ring at a campfire. Okay. Got it. And when you're at the first campfire, you get to see them, like, you know, interact as chibis. Aren't you tired of looking sad all the time? Try to smile more. 
Slicing a Thanos makes me smile. <laughs> Not that kind of smile. So it's really cute because you get to see each one of the characters, depending on who you get, right? You get to see them interact. So uh, it's, it's really cute. It's really cute. So we'll recruit... Okay, we get to choose between... What's that sound? Okay, we'll choose between Pharos... Sorry. Well, Azar, Joey, and... I think your name is like Pharos. Okay. So in this case, since Azar won really easily last... I mean, since Azar came in second place, we'll, be, we'll pick Azar. Azar. Easy. Now we've got Azar. At least we should have Azar. Where's Azar? I smell blood! Uh, okay. So now... Blacksmith. Create a new item by reforging two items. We only... You don't have any equipment like that. You only have one equipment. Uh, let's see. Uh, healing power. We'll give this one to Miss Chain. And skill book. Ooh, what's that? That's too that's too strong. We don't have six. Uh okay, we'll give it to we'll give it to Hein again. Alright. Oh, and we'll we'll uh Okay, a Q wait. You can save and quit using the book. Or activate a relic's power by placing it on the display stand. Okay. Azar brings good damage. Yeah, Azar gives tons of damage. Azar gives tons of damage. Okay, now we press Q. Or escape. Oh, it was tab. Tab to increase draws. Now, if you do that, it makes Lucy level up, the main character. And... Uh, let's see, we'll pick... Draw. Let's get also... Burning draw. All right, we got draw and burning draw. Our goal is the clock tower. Library restaurant. Okay, view random skills from investigators who are not in your party, and pay a scroll to learn that one skill. We have a scroll. Obtain three scrap metal, which can be used in reforging equipment. In addition, use a key to obtain a Lucy curse skill. Acquire two useful scrap metal. Yeah, forget that. We'll just go to the library restaurant. I want a library restaurant. Uh, give me a book. Book for Azar. And he will get... Holy light. Ooh, uh, you have a bunch of Joey skills. Uh... Hmm. You know, I think we need some healing, so we'll take the healing potion. So now Azar's a healer. Azar's a healer. Good for a chef detective. <laughs> Wish is safe. Select one ally skill and upgrade it. The skill owner loses 4 maximum health, or sacrifice 20 health to obtain a key. The blood bank. You know, we'll do that one. So donate 10 health from Miss Chain and donate 20 health from Hein to obtain a key. Then we'll donate 20 health from Azar and another one from Miss Chain to obtain another key. Alright, so, uh, you know, they went to the blood bank, got really dizzy. <laughs> yeah, this game can be really confusing, but once you figure it out, it's a really good game. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Now we'll give Miss Chain this thingy. Ouchies, ouch, 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 ouch. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really difficult to kind of understand. And even... Uh, before, I, before I deleted my save file... To make sure we get everything new... I, uh... I saw that I had like 520-something runs in this game. Thing is, is that it. I still don't really understand most of the characters. Let's finish this up quickly. All right, let's just use it on this guy. Ba bam! What? Oh, 
Let's see. Characters will faint if they receive an... Okay. So characters will faint if they receive additional damage while at death's door. Recover from death's door by healing. Okay. Alright, so when when they hit zero HP, they get something called Death's Door. And that means they're one hit away from dying permanently. Like Darkest Dungeon, exactly. Okay. So we'll Okay, I'm a little bit afraid. Hmm. I'm a little bit afraid. Okay. We'll use illusion thingy and we'll try to destroy oh no okay well let's see healing potion okay we'll use healing potion on can, can i not use the healing potion oh, yeah we'll use healing potion on on azar because i'm sure he's gonna die if i don't and then we'll attack this guy twice and call it an end Ooh. okay yeah they attacked azar he would have died he would have really just died. Okay. We'll try to do Assault Slash. Ba bam Okay. Alright. Nice. Huh. That was kinda that was kinda tough. We even had to use a uh, a potion. But a but Hein! Hein just went all full on Yandere and decided he wanted to kill everybody in one shot, so let's go Hein. We'll give Azar that. And uh, give give bread to Miss Chain. She she needs to eat a little bit of bread. Okay. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Big brain. Yeah. So Hein's special ability is that when Hein When Hein kills an enemy, the attack will do it well the attack will attack again, but to a different enemy this time. So, by using that, um, by using that attack everyone at the same time, he will use that attack everyone at the same time attack again. Okay, so Miss Chain's passive, burn. Miss Chain gets burn when she casts a skill or a fixed ability. Her health gauge is protected during burn. Miss Chain's skills get bonus effects when cast during burn. And what about... Uh, let's see. Playing with fire, damage six, burn. All enemy pain and weakening debuffs remain an extra turn. Okay. Pursuit. The target takes 25% pain damage of their maximum health. Do three of the target's skills in the deck, discard pile, and select one to draw. Its costs are reduced by two. Rare skills are not shown. So this kind of helps you get something from the deck. And fire ground. Let's see. Burn. Caster receives a buff that reduces damage from next attack to one. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. That's pretty good. We need a... We need some defensive maneuvers. He's got a double drop? <laughs> Let's see. And we use our key to get a... Hmm. We'll get this one. The Endless Magic Parchment. And this time we'll give it to... We'll give it to Hein this time. Okay. Alright. Let's keep going. Poof. So yeah, it's it's a bit, it's a little bit of a tough game to understand, but... What? May Dormitory. Battle against an elite monster. Earn a special prize upon winning. Minimum prize you have to... Minimum prize is that one. Or you can transfer an item into a better item. We don't have a potion or a key though, so we can't do anything. So we'll do the maid dormitory instead. Alright. Ooh! We have to attack a maid. Okay. Let's see. How about we... Accelerate end of the line. Use zoom. Then use... Ooh, she can attack. Oh, I thought she was just a training dummy. Okay, then we use uh, end of the line, and uh, let's see who who does more damage. You know what? I'm I'm afraid she's going to kill someone, so I'm going to use fire ground 
for the flame barrier. And we're going to heal up Hein and call it a day. Oh my god, 23 damage on Hein? All right. Well, how about... Okay, she's going to attack once, but this is Swift, so... Swift. Okay. So she's either... Oh, no, you know, I'm going to put a barrier. I'm going to put a barrier on Hein so Hein doesn't die. Then we're going to... Dismantle her armor? Ooh! Okay. Nice. Is Hein dead? Oh, Hein died! Oh god, Hein's dead! Oh sh... Okay, this, this run might be over. Okay, well we won. We won, but Hein's dead. Okay. We won, but Hein's dead, so that's not very good. What we can do is that... Is what we can do is that when... when a, on easy mode, I think you get... This item called Lucy's Necklace. And you can revive a character once. So we have that one. And we'll use, uh... Skill Book of Healing. Okay, we'll give it to Azar. Okay, we'll give it to Miss Chain. Okay, well, it's completely useless. We killed Hein for no good reason, I guess. So we'll give him some bread. Poor Hein. Poor Hein. He died for no good reason. Is uh, ooh, another fight. They're here. All right. Ooh, Hein's about to die again. Ooh, he died. <laughs> ooh, this this game hard. All right, fire ground to protect ourselves. Ooh, oh, he dodged it. Oh, good job, Azar. Oh my God. Okay, let's protect. Let's protect Azar again. Cast heal on Azar. Oh, that's right. Another thing is that every time a character does something, they get tired. They get a little bit tired. So if they use one skill, the next skill is going to add another mana cost to that skill. Okay, so we attack uh, the knight and call it a day. So yeah. Okay, great. So now we're going to have to use dismantle armor. Ooh, oh, that's a good sound effect. Really satisfying. Evil Aura. What does Evil Aura do? Attack plus 15%. Okay. So now we're going to heal... I'm gonna try to heal Azar a little bit. Ooh, what does that mean? Oh, let's just end. Okay. This game has really good sound design. Oh, I appreciate games with really good sound design. Okay. Well, we're going to need to draw some cards. But we're going to use basic attack one. Uh, okay, this should be enough. Ooh, nice. Crit. Appreciate that. And then we use burning... Burning draw. For... Miss Chain. Then combo it up with illusion sword calling. To get two illusion swords. There. Okay. Whew. All right. Okay. And we finish it off with a zoom. Oh, and you might also be noticing this, uh, this black fog. This black fog is basically here to say, if you take too long to kill an enemy, you just die. You just straight up die. The game doesn't want you to, uh, stay in one place too long. So if you stay in one place too long, you just die. Okay. Now we just zoom and kill. Hein needs to get it together, man. Yeah, Hein, Hein's dead. Yeah, Hein, Hein's is, Hein's is gone, so. Can you, can you use the bread on Hein? Nope. Dead people cannot eat food. Alright, but... But, what we're going to do is we're going to level up Azar. Because he's alive. At the start of each turn, the topmost skill in hand receives an Illusion Sword buff. If you play or discard a skill with Illusion Sword, Create a zero-cost illusion sword scale. Ooh, that looks really cool. Crescent Slash. Sword of Infinity. All scar- all skills in the hand will gain an illusion sword buff? That's really strong. Illusion Flash. Adds an additional attack that deals 8 damage for... Each illusion sword and illusion sword buff in hand. Oh, that's pretty good too. 
We'll get this one. Illusion Flash. Illusion Flash. Hein skill issue. Aw, poor Hein getting roasted. A bag of gold coins. Let's go gold coins. And now let's fight something here. Ooh, what? 159 HP? Okay, this is supposed to be easy mode. Um, but let's see what we're gonna do here. Let's see. Uh, well, let's let's start off with. Oh, this can kill him straight. Oh, what? It's, uh, he's tanking it. He's taunting. Oh, okay. Well, great. Okay. Uh, we'll we'll put a fire barrier. And. Ooh, that would have killed Heinz. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. This isn't gonna do too much, so let's just use zoom. Ooh. There. All right. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Azar's bleeding. 10 damage per turn? He only has three. Okay. Well. Well, all right. All right, let's use Illusion Sword Flash. Illusion Flash. Bam! How much damage? 50... Ooh! Ooh, that's some good damage, I think. But he's got 12 damage per turn now. Okay, Ill Illusion Sword. Bam! And we, we can only protect Hines. I mean, Azar. Because he's... Oh, another Illusion Sword. Bam! Give me another one. Nothing, okay. What? Oh, something got him. Oh, he's at death's door, though. Okay. Good thing all this guy does is go on some evil aura nonsense. Okay. So let's just use Illusion Sword Calling, Burning Draw, heal himself with a healing potion, another heal. Alright, so we've healed him up. Now we can use this and call it a day. Okay. Alright, alright. We survived. But for just a little bit. Let's... Let's take... Let's take Heinz's, uh... Axe. He's, he's not gonna need it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he's gonna need that at all. Let's level up Azar. Give him... Ooh! Skills above and below the skill gain an additional Illusion Sword buff. Okay, that's cool. We got that one. So Azar. Azar's leveled up. He should survive a little bit longer. What's here? Fountain of Wishes. A magical fountain that is sent to make wishes come true. As we get closer, the will of the fountain whispers to me. You are not yet capable of handling the power of my wishes. Right now, I can only grant you very weak wishes. Enter Bloody Park in the previous playthrough to prove your strength. Get one key. Ooh. The lake just gave me a key. Hurry up! I'm trying, Azar! A pot that might contain something useful. So we can't play hot we can't play Hein anymore. Yeah, Hein's Hein's dead. We're going to have to fight the boss battle without Hein, which is a little bit scary. Yeah. Okay. Uh. So what I'm going to do, we're going to use this healing potion on Miss Chain, and give bread. No, no. Uh, we'll give some bread to Azar. Okay. And uh, I think that's it. I think that's all we can do. All right. Let's see what you've got, child. All right. So now we're fighting a boss battle. Your friends will perish by our own choices. So this this witch is going to be way tougher because she's just she's just cursed Lucy. All right. So. We have this skill called Crucifying... We, we have this debuff skill. We'll call it a curse. We've got this curse called Crucifying Curse. If this skill remains in hand at the end of the turn, automatically cast it on all allies. And this means... Oh, and and what, it, what this curse is, is that it causes tremendous, horrendous pain to somebody. So either you choose an ally by hand to take on this tremendous pain or if you can't choose in time everybody gets it so it's pretty it's pretty messed up 
But, but, we're going to give it to Miss Chain. See? See? It's, it's kind of... Oh, I'm, I'm getting goosebumps. So, Miss Chain says, don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Miss Chain! Miss Chain! Miss Chain's gonna take like a champ. Azar says, yeah, anytime! We'll give it to Miss Chain, because she's a tank. Um, but different different allies will respond different differently. So some allies are more cowardly than others, and they will have like different things that they say. Ooh, okay, anyway. Um, let's see. We'll use Burning Draw on Miss Chain. Kotika, let's go Kotika. <laughs> you wanna call her Kotika for this run? Alright, fine. If you want if you wanna call her Kotika, we'll call her Kotika. So Kotika's now Kotika's got horrendous pain that she's uh holding in for a while. She's going to be holding it for the rest of the game. Um, but even though she's in real horrendous pain, she's going to cast Dismantle Armor. So now the witch is weakened, but it's uh, still very painful. Let's use Basic Protect on this chain. And lastly, Zoom. Ooh, okay, good. Ooh, okay. So now... So now, uh, Crucify and Curse. Now we have to do it again to another ally- to- to any ally. Thing is, is that if we give it to Miss Chain again, her horrendous pain gets, like, multiplied with tremendous amounts. So we're gonna have to give it to Azar this time. Okay. Five damage per turn, okay. So now let's use Illusion Flash. Okay, I'm thinking. I'm thinking here. Gonna have to use Illusion Flash on the Gentleman. And, uh... Heal Miss Chain. And call it... Oh, we can do another thing. Well, she just shanked Azar. A very impolite shank. But yeah. Ooh, we got five damage. Okay. So now we have to use this one. Weakening Curse. Um, this one... This one reduces the amount of damage they deal until the end of the turn. Okay, so we're gonna use this last. First, we use Illusion illusion Sword Fist First Scroll, which allows us to now use Fire Ground, uh, Basic Attack, use two Illusion Swords, and lastly, give it a, give Miss Chain another curse. And we end. Okay. Ooh, okay. Uh, as, as you can see here... As you can see here... Azar is really close to dying. This is getting quite fun. Ooh. Okay, that's interesting, that's interesting. So Azar is like, this is getting quite fun. He's, uh... He's, uh, he's a little bit of a masochist. At heart. So now we'll use draw. No, I'm I'm afraid of using draw. In hmm. We'll use illusion swords calling. And then healing potion on Azar to protect them. Then we use illusion sword. Illusion sword. Illusion sword. So now she can't attack. Now we use draw. Get three cards. Use Accelerate to reduce Dismantle Armor's cost to one. Use it against the Gentleman here. Follow it up with another Illusion Sword. And protect Azar. Ha! <sighs> okay. Oof. Looks painful. Why don't you curse someone else this time? Well, okay, let's... <laughs> well, Azar, if you're sure about it, we'll, we'll curse Azar again, because why not? 15 damage per turn, okay. Okay, you're starting to understand more? Yeah, 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 me too. I'm starting to remember what's going on now, too. So, now we're going to use first scroll again. Slicer. Illusion sword again. Draw. Illusion Oh, let's see. Yeah, we'll use Illusion Sword. Uh, this one again. Follow up two Illusion Swords and that's game. Okay. Whew! Okay. Alright, alright, nice. Nice, nice, nice. We won. Um... 
We unlocked the new boss. Okay, cool. Thing is, though, is that if we... If we didn't have that one potion that we gave to Azar, he, he really would have just died, straight up. So it's a good thing we had something to give to Azar. Alright. And just like that... Just like that, we figured out how to move on and beat the witch after a... After a really complicated run. I mean, after a really complicated turn of a... Turn of events, and now we get to, uh... <laughs> revive Hein. <laughs> and say, what's up, Hein? <laughs> it's time to get up, buddy. Azar's... Azar is always so calm and reliable. What do you have to say to that, Hein? Yeah, what, what do you have to say to that, Hein? Nothing? Nothing? Ah, oh, he has nothing to say, okay. Here's a camping item, so we're going to burn the bread. To heal up Hein a little bit. Okay, good. Ooh, what's this? If we use it, what happens? Oh, so swiftness. Okay, we'll save that for later. Upgrade. Oh, we can upgrade something? Hmm. Okay, well, if we, what if we do this? What, what happens? I don't know what this is. But... Okay. Increased damage by 30%? Sure, why not? Okay, cool. So we just... We just increased Hein's ability. Hein was hurt? Yeah, Hein, Hein was really hurt. But, uh... Hopefully he's fine now. Let's level him up. Give him another Assault Slash. Miss Chain, level her up too. Oh, she's so cute. Leave it to me. Taunted. Ignore taunt. Hmm. Ooh, let's see, what does this do? It just seems to do a lot of damage, so we'll just take that one for the simple high damage. And give this dagger to... We'll give this dagger to Azar. Should we give it to Azar? Yeah, we'll give it to Azar so we can crit more. What is this bunny thing? I've never seen this before. There's a front weight razor. Okay. Do we just give gold? I just took my money! <laughs> Miss Chain is kind of carrying, not gonna lie. Yeah, Miss Chain is pretty strong. Let's go, Miss Chain. Let's go, Miss Chain. Benoy. <laughs> nice joke, Usagi. Alright, let's see. The funds, yeah! I just, I just accidentally gave a thousand gold to a bunny. Oh, there's a shop. Oh, wow, that would have been great. Uh, let's take... Hmm. Let's see, healer's potion. We don't have any healers. Skill book, key or thorny. Hmm. I'm thinking... Alright, Dopia. Okay, let's get the key. No, no, the thorny stem. And that's all we can get for now. Come back later when we have more money. What's here? This pot might contain something useful. Thank you, Dopia, for, Dopi for the super. What do you mean? Oh. <laughs> that's funny. Alright, what's here? Oh, it's nothing. Okay, what's here? What you found here is a jar of abyss. Okay, so I'm going to place the thorny stem into the jar of abyss and get the fourth card. What does that do? Place it in the active item slot to use it. How do I do that? Do I just you use it? Active item slot. Like here? Oh, okay. Makes the fourth skill in your hand cost zero. How interesting. So it's going to be a buff for the rest of the game. Choose one of these effects. Revive a fainted ally, heal one ally by 100, or heal all allies by... Oh, that's cool! Smell equipment, relics, or active items to transform them into another type. No, we're going to use the medical tent. And we're just going to wait until we really need it. Okay. Alright, I think that's a good plan. Hello, Dopey. Hi, me, me, me. Medical tent, yo. Jar of the Abyss. 
Dawn of the Abyss. Okay. We get a... Oh, thank you very much, Nonsenses, for lunch money of 27... Thank you very much, Nonsenses. I really appreciate it. Okay. We'll get Blunt Sword. And give our goals the Clock Tower. Thank you. We'll give the Blunt Sword to Azar. Wait. Attack plus 15%. I think that should be fine. Okay. That's a jar you don't want to be sent into. <laughs> Ooh, a battle. Oh, we're finding little hedgehogs. Okay. That was kind of cute. Okay, but... Ooh, 8 damage to Azar. Okay, we'll do fire ground. And now we'll... Ooh. He do a lot of damage. Okay, we'll, we'll end this one before he attacks more. Alright. Illusion Sword. Only one damage. Il Illusion Sword again? Three damage. Okay. Ooh, ouch. Alright. Let's see. Now if we use Zoom Meeting... Ooh, he's gonna attack again. Oh, he dodged it! Heinz, Heinz just, just, Heinz just narrowly avoided death's door with a dodge. Oh my god, Heinz, that's the coolest thing you've ever done. Okay, good job, Heinz. We're gonna heal Heinz up and cast Illusion Sword and another Illusion Sword and call it a day. Zoom meeting, yeah. Ooh, okay, good, we have a Salt Slash. What? So much damage! Okay. Well, that's not very good. Ooh. That, on the other hand, was very good. Okay, so... We're going to... We don't have enough to level them up. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll save it up for later. An old pile of skeletons. Ooh. You know, I'm a little bit hesitant to level up Hind, but I will do so. And get... Mutilate. 43 damage. He does so much damage, Heinz does. Okay, but what we're going to do is that we're going to get rid of basic attack. And let him use Assault Slash. And... We're going to let him use Assault Slash anytime he wants to. For Miss Change, he's going to use Zoom Meeting anytime she wants to. And for Aza, he's going to be able to use Healing Potion anytime he wants to. Okay. Good. Very balanced. Alright, what is here? Anything here? Nothing's here. I was tricked. And I think that's it. So are we are we dying? Oh actually no, our health is fine. It's just Heinz is a little bit worse for the wear. How do you level up Lucy? Oh, you level her up by buying her uh by buying her drawing cards. Okay, so we're going to use Illusion Flash. So use it on this guy. Oh, they're attacking Heinz! Oh my god, they really don't like Heinz. They know that he does a lot of damage. And he will do a lot of damage with this attack. So, boom! Alright, good work, Heinz. Thanks for showing us this game, P.O. It's really interesting. Oh, you're welcome, Toby. I'm just really happy that you're uh, into it, for sure. Ooh, he's in death's door. Okay, okay, we have to get rid of the hedgehog before he attacks Heinz again. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, what about if we use this to heal Heinz? You didn't need to help me. Yeah, we did, buddy. Now he's burning draw. And now we use dismantle armor for this one. Good. And now we use illusion sword there. Oops, illusion sword there. Huh, <sighs> okay. We're surviving. Ooh, what's here? This is another key. Eagle eye. Okay, we got eagle eye, and eagle eye does higher accuracy. But we don't really need accuracy. It's not like we're missing anything. So we're fine. No need to wear that. Ooh, we've got we've got a bunch of hedgehogs. We've got a ghost wearing a hoodie. 
and we've got we've got uh what do you call those like a pumpkin pumpkin head sleeping hollow sleeping hollow we've got sleeping hollow all right so we're gonna start this off with end of the line i'm uh, sorry of burning ground then we're going to accelerate accelerate end of the line and now he's end of the line on the hedgehog Ooh. Oh boy, that's good damage. That's really good damage, Heinz. Good work. Now let's kill this guy really quickly and end it with a zoom meeting. Boom! All right. Whew, good combo. No damage, ghost. No damage. Ghosts do absolutely no damage. Okay. Ooh, but the ghost whispered. Choose skill to exclude. We have to throw it away? Oh no, is it forever? Okay, we'll throw away Illusion Flash. Ooh, damn it. All right, um... Okay, we don't want to explode this balloon. If you explode this balloon, it does five damage to everyone. And Heinz can't take it. If we pop this balloon right now, Heinz is gonna die. It's super for Dopey. Good morning. Time's early in my time. Don't have fun, Dopey. Oh, thank you very much, Edith Lai. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you for your generosity and kind words. Hein is holding on by a thread. Yeah, so much so that if he touches this balloon, he's gonna die. So we're going to try not to kill Heinz. Bam. The balloon expands. Okay, that's not good. Hmm. How about we uh, do this? That's only one damage. Oh, another one? Okay, good. Let's protect Heinz from any sort of damage. And then we... We have enough to heal Heinz a little bit. So let's do so. Okay, and one more losing sword to boot. Call it a day. Great. Looking good, looking good, looking very good. And we'll destroy the ghost. The ghost survived? Oh, nope, never mind. Can we just leave the balloon alone or do we have to kill the balloon? No, it seems we have to kill the balloon. Okay, that's awful. <laughs> the balloon popped by itself, but it's okay. It's okay. Heinz is okay. Obtain two bread, or use three pieces of bread to obtain a golden bread. Or we can go to the black... We'll go to the black market. Let's see. View investigator rare skills and purchase one. Or use... Or, or we'll get a very rare Lucy skill. Okay, we'll get a rare Lucy skill. Let's see. Effective plan. Draw three cards from the deck and set their mana cost to zero. That's pretty good. Or apply magic to a gun. Select one skill in your hand that is not upgraded. And then upgrade. Ah, that's too expensive. I mean, too hard to understand. I'll just get this uh, three skills and cost them to zero. All right, looking good. Do we need to heal at all? Yeah, we probably need to heal Heinz a little bit. So we'll go here and uh, fully heal Heinz. Okay, great. Good work. Uh, let's see, do you have any more money to afford a key or skill book? Ooh. Thank you very much, Nonsense, for even more lunch money. <laughs> I really, I really, 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 really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gun go pew pew. Heinz survived. Yeah, Heinz survived. Okay. We will buy the key. Keys seem to be really u useful for some reason. And, uh... Let's see, can we upgrade them anymore? No, we need exactly one more soul stone. Wouldn't it be easier to cover a path with my chainsaw? Says Miss Chain. Ooh, we're fighting a tank. I didn't know to survive the world, I had to fight. Ooh, everyone's at death's door. Ooh. Whoa. 
whoa you know thinking about it getting getting shot with a with a cannon probably uh does that okay so uh whoa Alright, this is this is confusing. Okay, so I'm going to use Azar skill to Okay, hmm. Okay, Miss Miss Chain can't die, so we'll heal Miss Chain. And then we'll use Burning Draw and to and apply burning to Miss Chain so she gets upgraded. Then we use identify weakness to debuff this guy. So he loses armor and loses evasion. Great. Then we... Uh, I need a skill with one. Okay, so this skill has two. Alright, so now we use Dismantle Armor. Okay, that's good damage. But that's all we can do. Is there anything else I can do? No, there's nothing else I can do. Okay. What does that mean? Oh! Summon a little drummer! Okay. Well, what if we use this move? Okay, Heinz is really angry. He just he just attacked twice. Okay, great. Let's uh let's use Illusion Sword Calling. Perfect. Great. He's still debuffed, right? Good, he's still debuffed. We'll use this attack. Now end it with a ton of illusion swords. Okay. Alright. Alright. We survived. Ooh, we unlocked the Joker. Great. Ooh, that's a lot of good stuff. Okay, cool. Oh, and everyone's full HP again. What a strategy. Yeah, it's it's okay though. <laughs> We're okay. Morning, Dopey. Stay poggy. Hey, thank you very much, Sean. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good morning to you too. Okay. As as long as they're alive, I'm not going to complain about what just happened, but my god. It, that tank did so much damage. Okay. Well, you see here, sometimes it's really sad getting unlucky in games, but the true unluckiness is getting your game crashed in the middle of a good run. Wow. Ouch. Oof. Ow. Whoa. Yikes. Yeesh. Oof. Huh. Ah. Ah. If I... <gasps> Ooh. Oh, it, it saved? Oh my god. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Awesome, great. Oh, maybe I can play the uh, play the opening cutscene then. Hold on. Maybe if I do this, it'll play the opening cutscene. Let's see. Does it work? Does it work? Please play the opening cutscene. Chrono Arc is a game that's still in development. Yeah. All fine. It came unannounced. Ooh, the land was. Why is there no sound though? Why is there no sound? Oh, whatever. The land was overcome by an unknown darkness. The land was twisted as everything came from some unknown humanity. Judging that humanity would be destroyed at this rate, scientists began working on a project to build an ark as a safe haven for humanity. I have no idea why there's no sound. The project was going on smoothly. The last remnants of humanity gathered together, and the Ark project was a success. Okay. 
However, they did not realize that the Ark is not a safe haven full of hope, but a cage that would imprison them for eternity. The people discovered only one thing. Activate the clock tower and the world will be restored. Oh, so that's what we're supposed to do. It was the final message they had left to the world. Chrono Arc. Ooh, okay. Is is there a reason why the why, why, why there's no sound? Oh, whoa, that's probably why. Ah, I don't know why when it crashed, it it was like that. But okay, okay, <laughs> it crashed in turn. <laughs> it crashed it, <laughs> and we lost the uh. And we lost the volume. <laughs> Great. I've never seen that happen before. <laughs> Not only does it crash, but you have to go into settings to change it. <laughs> Lucky this time autosave? Yeah, I didn't even know there was autosave in this game. Uh, okay, so... So what happens? Do we have to fight the tank again? Oh no! Oh! Oh, it, oh, it's because it crashed right before... Oh my god, that's so lucky. Oh my god, that is really lucky. If it crashed like a second earlier, right? If it crashed a second earlier, it would have just thought that we rage quit. Oh, that's right. Okay, so if it crashes during a fight, I think you're gonzo. But we're lucky that it crashed in this area. So it auto-saved. Oh my god, that really is lucky. Oh my goodness gracious. Damn. Okay. So, anyway. Anyway. What's over here? Ooh, Azar's covered by the trees. Hatred and anger often motivate us to press on. Quit acting like you know everything. Alright, well. Hein and Azar don't really see eye to eye. But that's okay. Ooh. Uh, apply pain debuff that inflicts three damage over four turns. That's nothing. Cost reduced by one. Okay, we'll do that. Cost reduced. Yeah, illusion flash, that's way too much. We have to reduce that. Camping item, we're good. We don't need that. Blacksmith, though. So we'll combine the eagle eye and the magic parchment to reforge it into. The rare bottle of poison. Wow, that's really bad. So bad that I'm going to combine the scale vest and the bottle of poison to get the legendary wooden sword plus 13. Whoa. 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 Yo, oh my god. It's just like wooden sword. <laughs> it's just like wooden sword. Oh my goodness gracious. Whoa. I got a wooden sword. Okay, we'll we'll give the wooden sword to I. So we so the so both of the boys get a wooden sword. <laughs> both of the boys can have their own wooden sword. Oh wait, no, we can combine we can combine uh what's this? Uh the rusty dagger. No, uh, the rusty dagger. I guess Oh no, we can't use it anymore. Two two remaining uses, okay. So okay, you get uh, miss <laughs> Miss What's Your Name gets a rusty dagger. <laughs> the boys get their own rusty swords. <laughs> wooden sword is cracked. Yo, if I had a wooden sword and it's cracked, I'm pretty sure it's not a very good wooden sword. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, we can level up though. We will add a... We'll increase maximum mana. And call it a day, yeah. Not the dad joke. Ooh, you're in the dope, yo. Ooh, what is this? Did we get a good drop, says Azar? Asking. Critical chance, maximum health minus 10. Critical chance and critical damage. 
Hmm. Oh, it's just the Bible. <laughs> it can either get the Assassin's Ring or how about the Bible? Alright, well, let's get the Bible. Because we're probably going to need a healer at some point. Orphan Encyclopedia. What's Encyclopedia? Ooh. Well, just to look at art, I guess. Ooh, that's cool. Kitchen maid. Carpenter doll. Let's see. What about what about the tank? What about the tank? Ooh, parade tank. Once considered a landmark of the park, it was transformed into an indiscriminate killing weapon after the park became twisted. A tank moves around on a fixed route to continue its parade even to this day. <laughs> it's a haunted tank. <laughs> <gasps> okay, but now we're in uh, dot question mark question mark question mark. Let's see, does it, does it say anything about? No, it doesn't. It doesn't give us any descriptions of those things. What about the witch, the ruler of the misty garden? She controls a legion of zombie-like dolls. Her powerful curses slowly erode people until they turn into dolls. There's no way to escape from her curses. Just pray that the witch will fall while someone is enduring the pain. Ooh, get wrecked, witch. What about Cerberus? A gatekeeper guarding the Misty Garden. It seems like it was someone's pet until it was twisted by the Black Fog. It attacks everything that moves within its sight, and the roar from its three heads simultaneously tears the listener's eardrums. Ooh, not my eardrums. What's the boss here? We just had Parade Tank? Okay, we just had Parade Tank, okay. The game is pretty. I'm happy. You're happy I picked it up? Yeah, really happy I picked it up too. Ooh, we've got a snowman. And we have also got the Pharaoh's tank and snow giant. Okay. Let's see. This guy's going to attack first. So what we're going to do is we're going to use we're going to use a basic attack. Then we're going to use zoom meeting. Okay. What a what a strong axe! Okay, so now we're going to protect... We're going to protect Heinz. And we're going to use this to... This healing potion to protect... To protect Azar. What the sh... 28 damage?! Okay. Alright then. 28 damage, he's... He's dead! Okay. Oh, you're about to attack again? Oh, he, he has to use his own health potion. Okay, good job. Oh, he's at death's door again! Uh, uh, are you alright? No, he's not! He's gonna die! <laughs> okay, but... But, 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 we're gonna have to, uh... Let's use end of the line on this guy. Uh, we've got Burning Draw. It's effective plan. Oh, okay, nice. So we're gonna use one, two, effective plan. Get three things and set them to zero. Oh, just one thing set it to zero, I guess. Slice that guy. And hopefully he doesn't go first and kill Azar. Oh! Lucky, something did come up, but it didn't attack Azar. Azar was about to become the new Heinz. Okay, we'll heal Azar again. And use... Ooh, an Assault Slash that does... That costs nothing. Alright, Assault Slash. Ooh! Ooh, wait, what, what, what What's going on? Where are they appearing from? Where are they coming from? Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, mutilate. Mutilate the Hedgehog! Ooh, he, he really mutilated that Hedgehog. As sure as the snow is white, he mutilated that hedgehog. Eviscerated it. There's nothing left of that hedgehog. But what if we level up bump again? And this time we give him something really strong. We'll give him... Rage Slash. That seems really edgy. <laughs> yeah, Heinz is... Yeah, Heinz is really strong, but... Enemies are guarding the area. Yo, who cares? We'll beat it up. 
With Hedgehog? Yeah, Hedgehog is Gonzo, but uh... Destroy Mind? <laughs> what happened? Deal 8 damage to another ally at the start of the turn. Oh, damn. Okay, what are we gonna do? How about... How about we mutilate again? <laughs> now we're gonna use Effective Plan to get... Ooh. Okay, what if we use this one to make mutilate cost less? Then we use Identify Weakness. Okay. Right, okay, and then, and then, we mutilate? Oh my god, what a, what a strong mutilation. I've never seen mutilation so strong. Alright, then, alright. Azar got a little bit healed up. Alright. What a catch of, what? Miss Chain just... Miss Chain just said sorry, I couldn't control myself. She just crit Azar. Poor Azar just got critted by Miss Chain. Team kill. It must be that crack. How do you want to be cooked? Is she talking to the enemy or is she talking to Azar? <laughs> Crazy. It's the wooden sword buff. Oh yeah, it is the wooden sword buff. He he has the strongest wooden sword in existence right now. That's right. Okay. Well, let's use it again. Wooden sword. Ooh. The strongest wooden sword in the world. What you found here is either the witch's safe or the celestial tower. Well, let's go to the celestial tower. Oh. Or we can use the elevator. Oh, I'll use the elevator. I guess we'll use the stairs. Uh, what's this? Celestial? Ooh. We have finally reached the apex of the tower. The sky is so close that I could feel as if I could touch the stars. Having obtained the celestial, we safely return to the surface by riding a portal. Ooh, what's the celestial do? View one synergy upgrade per ally and select one to upgrade a skill. Uh, okay. Good morning, Dopio. Thank you very much, Chica. Oh, hi, Gozaimas. Thank you, Chica. Good morning to you, too. We'll upgrade. Cost is reduced by one if Heinz at death's door. Okay. Uh, hmm. Let's see. You know what? Hmm. I don't know which one would be the strongest one. JP Tascaru? <laughs> He's gaming your honor. Welcoming incoming peels? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Are you planning on are you playing on the Switch? No, this is uh Steam. This is on Steam. Uh you know, Heinz is usually at Death's Door, so we'll upgrade Death's Door stuff. Oh, oh no, I get it. Okay, uh... I get it. Increase damage by 30%. Okay, I get it. So if Mutilate, then, is available... While Miss Chain has Burn, it'll increase it by 30%. Yo, we'll have the strongest Mutilation ever! <laughs> Another win for Mutilation. <laughs> Heinz is so glass cannon, yeah, it seems so. Select victim. Lethal injection! Oh god. Okay. Well, how about we... Let's see, what should we do? Hmm. Okay, we'll start off with a simple assault slash. Great. Then we do... What should we do? Do this one. This one guy is going to go next, so we should attack this guy. And get two illusion swords and attack him again. Rage slash to this guy. Illusion sword to this guy. Burning draw to Miss Chain. Identify weakness to this guy. And then call it a day. Our rage slash will go and boom! Alright. Huh. <sighs> 
Phew. So I'm having good taste. I can't keep buying all these games. I'm in debt. My family's in shambles. My pet rock is starving. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sherry Fink. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know, I guess I could just play the same good games over and over. <laughs> I mean, tomorrow we're going to be playing Dave the Diver, and I have no idea what Dave the Diver is like. But I hear it's really good. I mean, it must be really good if the main character's name is Dave. And he's a diver. No idea what it does. No idea what he do. End of the line. Zoom. Alright, cool. Pray for Pet Rock, yeah. I hope your Pet Rock will be okay. <laughs> Ooh, Miss Chain just got some damage. We have a wolf. Spirit wolf. It's the wolf from yesterday's duel against Ver. Okay, but we're just gonna say end of the line to you, wolf. Ooh. Wolf just died. He just exploded. Okay, next we're going to... Let's see. I think we should level up Azar. He's earned it. Shining Aura. Skills that cause zero gain 100% crit hit chance. Ooh. That's pretty good. Alright, we'll do that. We'll do that. He be he'll become the anime protagonist. Let's go. An old pile of skeletons. What if it's dumpster diving? Well, I mean... Dumpster diving is a little bit interesting. I saw this one dumpster diving video. And the guy was able to get some really good stuff out of the... Uh, out of the garbage outside of... I think it was a Best Buy? Like, he got a bunch of... Um... What did he get again? He got a bunch of coat hangers. He got a bunch of... Uh... Hmm. I forgot what he got. He got like a bunch of wires too. I don't remember. It's wild what some people throw away. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Especially some big businesses. Dumpster dive hand cam? Yo, that would be insane. I would never do it. I could never do something like that. But that would be really insane if somebody ever did that. Upgrade one ally skill. 50% chance to downgrade a different skill. Ooh. Or sacrifice one class skill. You know what? We'll do that. Sacrifice of knowledge. Sacrifice... We'll sacrifice... Uh, what, what do we not need? Uh, we'll sacrifice... Rage Slash. And we'll upgrade... Uh... Game Critical Keyword. I've never heard of Keyword. Uh... Okay, we'll get that one. Critical Hit Chance Times 2. Receiving Crit or Chance to Target. I don't even know. No, I don't even understand that. But we'll do it anyway. We'll do it. Don't feel does it. Don't be, be no coward, don't be do the dumpster type hand cam. No. <laughs> I don't even know what I would find. What if there's like a rat or something? Or even more cockroaches, yikes. Burn, increase all enemy pain and weakening debuff stats. Engine burner. Ooh. Okay, we'll do that one. It's swift and ignores taunt. And it also applies grievous burn. Maybe more fire ground. Okay. You know what? I, I like fire ground. We'll do another fire ground. Okay, good. Looking good. You'll find. Why would you be in a dumpster? <laughs> yeah, there must be tons of cockroaches inside of the dumpster. You'll get a skill book. Ooh. Let's use a skill book and get mutilate and. Bloodstorm. <laughs> Yo, some of these some of these names are so edgy. Bloodstorm. You know, if Ver Vermilion was a little bit more edgy, his name would be Bloodstorm. It is I. The storm of blood. Bazoom. No, we'll, we'll get Bloodstorm. <laughs> it's so edgy, I swear. <laughs> Blood storm. Ooh. Let's do this one more time. 
Ooh, he got bit. Let's see. Let's see, what if we... Uh, end of the line. No, we're going to identify the weakness of this guy. And now use mutilate. Can we choose? No, it's random. Oh, he mutilated the wrong guy. Ooh, Azar's death door. Oh, Heinz dodged the bite. Oh, God. Okay, uh... Let's see. We're going to use end of the line on this guy. Ooh, crit. Ooh, not that much. But we can destroy this guy. Ooh, guess not. Okay, we're going to use a shield on Azar real quick so he doesn't die. Next turn. Okay. Yikes. Ooh, crit on Heinz. He bit Azar! He's about to die! Okay. We're going to have to use Assault Slash and hope that this ends it. One, two. Ooh, that end. Oh, nice, nice. Three Assault Slashes in a row. Okay, very nice, very nice. Uh, let's see. That's fine. Jar of the Abyss. Throw a key and get a relic. Or curse the rare higher... Now nah, we'll, we'll get this one. We'll curse the... We'll, we'll put in a key. We'll put in a key. What do we get? Frozen Fan. When a battle starts, all one cost skills in the deck receive a 5 damage bonus. That's pretty good. Pretty good. That's pretty good. What's here? Vault of Time. Choose an item and preserve it. If the part is annihilated, you can start with this item in the next run. Or view a random rare skill of each party member and learn one. Ooh. Alright, we'll do that. I'm not, I don't think we're gonna die this run. We're going to actually get something good. Oh! Rage! Okay. Hmm. Rage. Okay, Rage Rage does... I think what Rage does is that he's able to use the next move twice. Which is pretty good. From head to toe. Heal all other allies. How, how do you slice somebody open and heal all other allies? Alright. Instead, deal 33% of your max health as extra damage as burn. Of, okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Fantasy. Discard all zero cost skills from hand and draw one more than the discarded amount from the deck. They cause zero and gain swiftness. What the heck? Is that real? Wait, am I imagining correctly? Discard all zero cost skills from the hand and draw one more than the discarded amount from the deck. They all cost zero and gain swiftness. It seems really good. Or we can attack twice with mutilation. <laughs> or we can mutilate twice. Nah, I feel I feel like this is just gonna be really strong. Let's get that one. Forget skill dismantle armor. No, I like dismantle armor. Ah oh, man, whatever. Where are the enemies hiding? I don't know, Heinz. If if I knew I would tell you. If I knew I would tell you, Heinz. Let's see, how are their HPs like? Okay, so Azar is about to die. We should. Okay, they cannot heal, or they are not healers. We can, though, do nothing really? Nothing? Nothing at all? Skill heal? Healer's potion. You can learn the skill healing fountain. Okay, we're gonna learn healing fountain. Okay. And it's gonna be on him. And, uh. I guess that's it. Nothing else I can do. Add a card. Let's see. Uh. Draw? Why not? Why not? Why not? When, I, when did I rename Hein? Uh, his his nickname is Heinz, just like in uh, just like in 
Near Automata, 2B's nickname for 9S is Nines. So his name is Heinz. Ooh! Whoa! Ah, fresh souls! Ooh! Why are they attacking him with death? What is that? The Reaper. At the start of your turn, Reaper casts Death Sentence, prioritizing the owner with a topmost skill. Oh! Okay, so what if we just use the top... Oh no, he has two topmost skills. Okay, that's not good. And he's going next. Okay, hmm, I'm thinking. Alright, Dopey, let's think. Okay, so let's use end of the line on his buddy. Oh, no, we can't attack his buddy. Hmm. Alright. Let's see, this kill is... Damn. All right, let's just use. Okay, we'll just use end of the line. How much is? Nah, it doesn't do enough damage. Okay, end of the line. Oh, they just destroyed his mind. Oh, he's dead already. Oh, wait, no, he's not dead. Oh, he's still alive. I don't know how he's alive. How is he still alive? Yo, Azar with the hacks. I have no idea how he's still alive. Okay. Oh, it's at the end of the turn. Okay. Uh, so let's let's use Azar to heal himself really quickly. Okay. No, he's still on death's door. Okay. So we're going to need to use effective plan. And fire ground. And let's use this tablet to remove his debuffs. Does he have any debuffs? Okay, he had one debuff and no debuff. Pain debuffs. Okay, now we're gonna have to use this one to get rid of this one, or else he's going to just instantly die, I think. Okay, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Illusion sword, why not? Okay. And. Uh, we'll just end. Ooh, he gave him a death sentence. When hit by another death sentence, all allies will take 26 true damage? Oh, that's not good. Okay, so we have to use Bloodstorm then. Bloodstorm on his buddy. Oh, yeah, we'll use Bloodstorm on his buddy. All right. Ooh. Oh no, he's at death's door again. Okay. He's at death's door again, so let's heal him up a little bit. Okay. Alright, good. Good. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Uh, let's see, we can mutilate him. We should... Hmm. Alright, we'll... <laughs> Tell me when you're ready, says Miss Chain, but we're going to mutilate... Mutilate does no damage now. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw. And we're gonna use... Does she have burning? Yeah, she does have burning. So we're gonna use... Shining Aura. And make Illusion Sword crit. Twice. And I'm afraid of his thingy, so I'm gonna... He doesn't have any thingy. Damn it. Alright, end. Ah, uh, she gave it to Miss Chain. All right, Mommy San says, "Oh hi, Obiotan. Happy to watch in the morning. Gambatte ne. Oh, garim, gambari mas, gambari mas, gambari mas. Ah, ah, Okay, so Heinz is at death's door. So Heinz is about to die, right? Heinz is about to die. Gambare. Yeah, I'm thinking really hard right now. So Heinz is about to die. So because Heinz is about to die, we should heal him up so that he does not gain that... So, so he does not do... Oh no, we're messed up. Okay. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking so hard right now. Oh my god, this is not good. When hit by another death sentence, all allies will take 26 true damage. Which means we have to make Azar get it. But Azar doesn't have any skills. I'm 
I'm thinking. <sighs> Using only three, what can we do? Okay, we're gonna first draw. So now he has, and we have to have put the solution sword all the way on top. But is that even possible? What is this? Select a skill in hand and redraw it. Okay, so we can use fire ground. Fire ground is easy. Next, we have to. Why can't he do anything? Is he dead? Oh, he's not dead. Why can't he move? Oh, he's stunned. He's stunned. Why are you? Why are you stunned? Wait, can I? Can I use a tablet to unstun him? Okay, yeah, he's unstunned now. Okay, good. He's unstunned. <sighs> okay, good. Which now lets me use identify weakness because this is at zero skill. All right. All right, okay. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Now I want him to use end of the line. No, I want him to use assault slash. <sighs> Damn it. I didn't crit. But what I can do is I can use burning draw. Okay. Now I select the skill in hand and discard it to redraw. So what if I get rid of... What if I get rid of... End of the line. Now she... Now he's gonna get this one and she's gonna give 26 true damage to everyone. Which means that it's game over. So... That doesn't do anything. Do you have anything we can do? We can kill this guy. But does that help us anyway? Okay, we're going to have to... Gonna have to pray that the run isn't already over, but I think it might be over. <gasps> he dodged it. Lucy, it seems you're in an irreversible situation again. Well, there's no need to worry. Just accept your fate. This is not the end. What if we continue? Oh my god, okay. So, I'm not sure if this is possible. We're going to unstown him by using our last tablet. Can can I can I not use it? He's stunned. He needs to Oh yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Okay. So now he's unstunned and he's going to get attacked no matter what. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. No, no. Okay, which is good because he he he's going to get hit by death sentence and death sentence hasn't affected him yet So he's not gonna get hit with the true damage of death sentence <sighs> Okay, I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm thinking All right, so shining aura means skills that cost zero are supposed to now gain gain 100% crit, crit chance so we accelerate we accelerate this one to make it zero, which makes it go under Shining Aura. Now we use this one to make it cost zero. Skills above and below this skill now gain an Illusion Sword buff. Alright. Which means now we use it against... Who do we use it against, though? I guess we use it against the big bad guy. 31 damage. Oh my god. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking so hard. I know. Okay. I'm thinking. Okay. So now we use. 
adds an additional attack that deals 11 damage for each illusion sword and illusion sword buff in hand. So this would do f an additional... How much damage is that? Should be a lot of damage. 39. Ooh. Ooh, okay. All right. Okay. Now we discard all zero cards from the hand and draw one more than discard. Okay. <sighs> all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is it possible <laughs> to win with this? Okay, we need to get even more illusion swords. Okay. Let's gain even more illusion swords to increase illusion flash. And we're gonna draw... Draw... Burning draw. We just redraw the burning draws. Okay, that's not very good. Okay. What does this mean? Well, let's use this move. Crit, please! Oh, damn it, we missed something! Okay. But well, now we get to use two illusion swords. <laughs> Draw. Damn it. Redraw shining ore for shining aura. Can we, can we duplicate a potion? <laughs> duplicate any potion, please! Damn it. Makes the fourth skill in your hand cost zero. One, two, three. Damn it. Nothing good. Okay. If I had one more tablet, he would have lived. Ah, damn it, please! Ah, shoot. It's okay. This isn't over yet. At least you can try again. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it! Oh. Ooh. Now we're Azar. Putting the A in ARG. What's going on here? Da 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 This. Da, 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 da. Again, I'm back here again. I get a terrible headache every time I come here. Who are you? How many times are you going to bring me here until you're satisfied? What are you trying to tell me? What am I? I... I... Develop the art project. I'm an investigator, Azar. It's my sworn duty to. my eyes, I will be back inside the Ark. Activate the Clock Tower. Our mission is to activate the Clock Tower. That is the only mission. Damn. Shoot. What a shame. What an absolute shame it is to lose. Lucy. Lucy, wake up. I don't like this. Lucy, wake up! Who's that? Oh, it's Azar. Hey, Azar. What's up? You're kind of close there, buddy. Are you okay? Can you hear me? Where? 
All right. Looks like I made it in time. Where am I? And who are you? Confused, are we? I'm sure you'll come back to your senses little by little. I'm an ARC investigator, Azar. Lucy, I was looking for you. Me? Who am I? I don't remember anything, except the name Lucy. Yeah, I guess that's to be expected. I was. Ugh. Are you okay, Lucy? Azar. Huh? Have we met before? No, I don't believe we've met before. He's so pretty. Yo, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, if he had the messy hair. Take a good look at him. Take a good look right now at Azar. If he had the messy hair. And if he stank a little bit more. Nagito Komaeda. Nagito Komaeda. If he had longer, messier hair. And if he smelled like a dumpster. Nagito, Nagito Komaeda. I feel like you're familiar. <laughs> you're onto something, Pio. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> what, do I mean? what do I mean I'm ruining his image? <laughs> what do you mean I'm ruining his image? <laughs> he even woke us up like Nagito. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I've never seen this cutscene before, by the way. Never seen this cutscene before. What do you mean, Lamau, not the Nagito slander? Tell me, tell me that Nagito doesn't smell. I'm pretty sure Nagito smells. I'm pretty sure Nagito smells really bad. The only time I've ever seen Nagito shower was when he went to the desert. <laughs> pretty sure he only showers in the desert in the oasis. <laughs> everybody just collect everybody in chat just collectively remembered Nagito's butt. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. Is that my Nagito headcanon? You bet it is. <laughs> Nagito would do the dumpster hand cam. Exactly. He would be like, putting my hand in the dumpster <laughs> means that there's hope in the world. <laughs> <laughs> It's like we've known each other forever. Anyway, Lucy, are you hurt anywhere? Huh? Not really. I'm fine. Thank goodness. If you get hurt, we have no chance at activating the clock tower. Clock tower? <laughs> what do you mean my dope your head cans that he stinks? That's right, I need to go to the clock tower. As soon as I can, I need to activate the clock tower. You owe me a new pair of lungs, sir. That's my destiny. <laughs> what do you mean your head cannon of Nagato's in shambles? <laughs> dot, 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 says Azar. Look at the way he folds his arms and looks at you. He looks at you as if the... <laughs> he looks at you as if you have no talent <laughs> to get into Hope's Peak Academy. <laughs> It's uh, kind of reminds me of that one scene in uh, Danganronpa Trigger Happy, Trigger Happy something. The the one where you play as as uh, Kom as uh, as Komaru Naegi's sister, and he's like, "What kind of talent do you have?" She's like, "Well, I, I, I'm not good enough to get into host peak." And he's like, "Ew, ew, <laughs> yikes!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, Ultra Despair Girls. Yeah, Ultra Despair Girls. Yeah, Trigger Happy Havoc is the first one. Ultra Despair Girls is that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> It's like, ew. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I can feel her determination. We'll reach the end for sure this time. Azar? Ah, uh, sorry, it's nothing. Look, look, look at that sweat. You see that sweat? You, look, take a good look at that screen and you see that one bead of sweat. Tell me that's not Nagito Komaeda's beat of sweat. <laughs> the legendary, the one and only, the mythic Nagito Komaeda sweatband. 
<laughs> Let's get out of here. This place is dangerous. We should head back to the Ark for now. The Ark? Over there. The floating island. And that's the Ark. Your destination? The clock tower is also there. Ark? Clock tower? <laughs> Licks it off, no. We can't activate the clock tower just yet, but... I'll explain things more once we get there. Come on, let's go. Follow me. <laughs> oh, the hope and despair. Ooh, yo, it's Hex Haywire. Welcome to the Ark, Lucy. So, this is the Ark. Their hoodies are similar or you guys are starting to cook. Yes, the only safe haven left in the world. This place is the residential area. It's kind of a relaxing place. It almost feels like I've been here before. This is where you'll be staying from now on. I'm looking forward to working with you, Lucy. Azar, you said you were searching for me, right? Why did you search for me? Why I searched for you? That's because you're the girl of prophecy who will save this world. Girl of prophecy? That's right. You are the hero of a prophecy that's been passed down the Ark for generations. With your powers, we can activate the clock tower and restore the world to its former glory. My power? Yeah. Do you remember when I said we can't activate the, or the clock tower just yet? We need a certain material, known as the Time Shades. Time Shades? Azar is in love with the hope that sleeps inside of the Girl of Prophecy. The Time Shades are, ca the time shades are scattered across the Twisted Land as fragments, but the Girl of Prophecy has the ability to locate the Time Shades. I see. The twisted land is always shifting, so it's impossible to find the time shades through normal methods. However, with the girl of prophecy on our side, it's a completely different story. So, the first step is to search for these time shades. Yeah, exciting, don't you think? I want to start the investigation right away, but... It's already late for today, so let's get some rest and start tomorrow. Okay. I've prepared a room for you, so you can rest there. See you tomorrow, Lucy. Sidekicks to jail? For what? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> she just woke up and she has to save the world. Oh, obtained a warm day. Ooh, obtained a faded photo. Ooh. Can I, can I see the warm day or the faded photo? Or back to bed? Should I rest for a while? Sure, why not? Art project. Ooh, okay. Let's go to a warm day. Lucy and her friends basking in the warm sunlight. They're enjoying the comfortable weather as if the days spent in the shivering cold were all a lie. So interesting, don't you think? What's so interesting, Joey? Just a week ago, we were struck we were stuck underground in the cold of murder. Now we're basking in the warm rays of the sun. Merlin, Joey suddenly turned super emotional. She's sleeping. Oh my goodness. Oh my. What is that, Lucy? Joey got so emotional that he cried. Who's crying again? <laughs> but Joey's right. If he hadn't entered the Ark, we wouldn't have felt this happiness. We really should be thankful to our parents. Yay, my little friends. Annie. Who's little? 
There you are, sunbathing. I was enjoying the blessings of nature. Arc life, arc life indeed. Everyone is addicted to sunbathing now that the sun is out. I brought you ice cream. Do you want some? I want a bite. Give me. You really are a little kid, aren't you? What's that? Thank you for this treat. By the way, Lucy, you talk to Merlin and Annie with respect, but why do you talk to me differently? Jolie, you're the same as me. I don't pay respect to fools. You... you little... You scared me. What is it, sis? Photo time. Everyone was having fun, so I took one. Hey, give it to me! Me bickering with Lucy makes me feel like I'm down to her level. Yeah, we're not on the same level. I'm way above you. Can't you ever be kind? You'll be in big trouble. I'll let my father know about this. Joey, cut it out. The ice cream's melting. What does that have to do with the ice cream melting? Lucy, you brat! Come back here! Wow, oh, he's angry. I'll get you back when I catch you up! Says Joey. What about a faded photo? Ooh, kind of weird looking. Yeah, let's take a look at that one too. Ooh, that's just weird. Okay. Joey Angie. That growl? E. Okay, let's see. Jeez, Joey. Ooh, good morning. Are you ready? No, 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 no. Let's leave now. Wait a minute. Leon told the investigation team about you yesterday. Talk to them if you have any investigations that sh investigators that you want to recruit to the party. Everyone is fired up from the news about us finding a timeshade. Okay. And are you sure? About what? Despite what I said yesterday, there's no need to hurry. It's better to be thoroughly prepared. On that note, how about no thanks? I see. I see. You can train the Ark at any time, so pay a visit if you need. Okay. Let's hurry up and collect it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, uh, we can talk to... Miss Chain says, hey! I heard you're headed down to the Twisted Land. Can I join you? It'll be an exciting journey with my fiery chainsaw on board. What does Azar say? Azar says, let's head to the Twisted Land when you're ready. Ooh, what does this punk say? Are you the girl of prophecy? Wow, you look exactly like the stone carving. Oh my god, we're back to the stone carvings. Yeah, I'm telling you, not Discord, not Skype, not pen and paper, stone tablets. Stone carving? You can find it near the town entrance. If you're curious, you can see it for yourself. All right. Let's talk to Hex Haywire. Oh, never mind. Mark. I'm Mark. So, uh, oh, no, it's Hex's voice. Dopey. Dopey. So, uh, you're the girl of prophecy from the Twisted Land. We can finally start looking for the time shades. Did you know? Finding a time shade is no small feat. A long time ago, the creators of the Ark left us a message. Collect the time shades and activate the clock tower. Those words were our only hope in this dark world. However, we never managed to find a single time shade since the creation of the Ark. Where the time shades are, what they look like, whether it's even a physical thing, nobody knows. That's why everyone is happy about the Girl of Prophecy coming to town. Yeehaw. Oof. God damn, Dopey. Dopey and Sax Sax is dope, yeah. Actually, you know, all 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 members of Exile is just voiced by me. Say baby. Baby. Dopey. How, how does how does Hex say that again? Uh what, what what's it, what's Hex's line again? I'll never let you go, baby. Uh I'll never let you go, baby. 
Yeah, it's, very, it's like yeah, 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 something like that. Oh, it, it, it's just uh, his his deep voice is very much all all of that like vibrato thingy. Not not vibrato, but like low low. Oh, 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 oh. I'll never let you go, baby. I'll never let you go, baby. Oh, I guess that's how he does it. So you have to do like ow, oh, wow, wow. I'll never let you. I'll never let you go, baby. Something like that. Darling? Darling. Yeah. It tingles your ear? Darling. No, it's not. It's a bit more lower and more there. Darling. I'll never let you go, baby. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, 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 I'll never let you go, baby. There we go. Got it. Interesting. Interesting. And a kiss at the end? <laughs> clippers, clippers, clippers! How can you alter your voice so much? Oh, just practice. Hello, I don't believe we've met before. Oh, okay. Well, okay. See you later then. Scarl? Oh, hi, Scarl. Did that sound like Hex Scarl? I I'm not I'm not really that sure if it sounded too much like Hex. But yeah. We must stay strong, sidekicks. <laughs> Hello, says Laren. Ask me about any queries you might have. Who are you? I'm Laren. I work here at the research lab. I don't visit the Twisted Land too often, but I am aiding in the investigation team with their research on the Ark. Here at the lab, we can provide a variety of perks to assist you along your journey, so feel free to stop by later. Alright, Laren. On the one hand, I want more of Lone Voice Pia. On the other hand, I don't think we would survive that either way to Scott for the entire segment. Ah, uh, I mean, it's something I can pull out. I just need, I don't know, like a character to, to give it or something. How do we stay strong? I forgot Dopey's voice is too strong. How could you ever forget? When are we heading down? I have to kill those wretches quickly. Kill who? Who do you think? Those Pharaohs guys from the Order. I don't care if we activate the clock tower or not. Slaying those damn Pharaohs is my only goal. What happened? Why should I tell you? Do you think we're friends? Forget it. Let's go already. Chicken! <laughs> what's the what's the good voice to give to the chicken? <laughs> huh? Why do you seek the almighty phoenix? Teach me how to fight. What? A fighting chi- Welcome to the training grounds, Lucy! I'm your temporary instructor, the one and only Phoenix! Brah! I'll teach you everything step by step, so you better be grateful! Brah! Now, shall we learn the basics of combat? Brah! No, please, no, I can't do this voice any longer. No, get me out of here, get me out, get me out! Oh, damn it. Alright, well... Good job! Rock! And turn. The ultimate weakness for the psycho is deep voice P. A spit um impression. Really? Is it really that strong? Is it really that close to Hex? That's interesting. That's really interesting if it is. Alright, uh Okay. What if what if I just go back to the main menu? <laughs> and start game and say Oh, okay, gotcha. It's extremely close. Uh, no, but it's cool. Ah, okay. Yeah, I don't think I don't think it's in the level of Hex yet either. Cause Hex can at least do things with that voice. I can only just make it low. I think that Hex is able to make it at least, you know, varied by you know giving it like emotions and stuff. I need to be able to uh, give emotions to that, to that, uh, to that voice. Like I can get the tone a little bit now. The way you talk is totally different because Hex doesn't sound drunk. 
the heck? What's Leon say? Lucy, the mission given to the the mission given to the investigation team is very important. The area before the area below the arc is very dangerous. So as a training instructor, I'll teach you some simple skills that can that you can pick up pretty quickly. No. Talk to me again if you change your mind. I need like eight credits. I don't have any credits to give her. What's that stone tablet? I want to see that stone tablet. That's so rude. I can't afford it. She makes me. She said. She said. She legitimately said. Give me eight credits if you want me to uh, teach you something. Uh, ask a question. What do you want to know about? Nothing really. Ooh. Laren's research lab. Okay, what can we get? Let's see. We can enhance the necklace. Hmm. Magic lamp? No, let's just enhance the necklace. That seems really safe. Enhance the necklace. Alright, what's here? It's a venting machine. Enter promotion code. I don't know the promotion. The pro. I don't know the pro. Invalid code, damn it. Purchase Lucy's cat outfit 200 credits. So our run there that lasted really long it was like a two-hour run, right? Our two-hour run gave us only seven credits. What does Joey say? I'll keep an eye on you. VAP and Tascado. I totally watch a voice practice stream. I'm just listening to you practicing different voices. <laughs> That's every stream. Ooh. It's a tablet of prophecy which has been handed down through the ark. When the girl who shines the light leads the way, fragments of time will be revealed. A phrase of prophecy is inscribed into a mysterious mural. Yeah, apparently this is supposed to be Lucy, but honestly speaking, it's so vague and random, it could legitimately just be me. It could just be me, don't be a drop scythe. If I, if I like, let, let my hair down or something, it could be me. I could be the mysterious girl of prophecy. As a stone tablet declares. <laughs> could be anyone. Yeah. Could be anyone. Let's see. What else can we do here? Because I don't think we have time for another run. Let's see. Is there anyone else here we can talk to? I don't think so. No, we didn't unlock anybody. The more characters you unlock in the game, the more people appear in, uh, in the city. It's really cool. Air down P.O. when? Eventually, one day. <laughs> it could be dope you, you could be dope you, I could be dope you. Choose the multiplay. Normal, when defeated, lose all party progression, restart from the beginning. Or hope. Nagito coming full circle? Replay the game even if your party is wiped. When defeated, do not lose party progression and increase hope level. So if you're one of those gamers who feels like you don't want, that you just want to experience the story, and not worry too much about the whole, like, uh, complicatedness of the st of the game. You can always just do hope mode. You can just do hope mode. So yeah. I'm Dopio. I'm Dopio. Normal mode. Okay, let's see. Do we unlock any new characters? No, we have not unlocked any. I think we have to beat the game actually. Okay. So I think I think that's pretty much it. Uh, another day, another run, but, but, what do you mean you're all dopey? I'm dopey, I don't know who you are. You're sidekicks, I'm dopey. That's all the time I got for today. Because I'm going to rest up and prepare for, uh, let's see. Yeah, we've got a dopey after dark today, so I don't want to burn my, burn out everything too much right now. Because later on... Later on, later on, we're gonna be doing Dopio After Dark. So we'll be doing a Dopio After Dark and playing Mortuary's Assistant. Well, because it'll be so I'm at the end of the day, at nighttime, and without the sun, it could be a bit scary, so I will be using my deep voice to soothe. Yes. Dope you have to die. Ooh, dad. Yes. Alright. So yeah. 
We're gonna do it. Stop with the voice chain. Come on. What do you mean? 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 I've got 99 voices. And apparently Hex AY is one of them. <laughs> Let's go, Dad. Soothing. Yeah, it's gonna be the soothing voice. It's the soothing voice. But yeah, um, that's, that's, uh, Chrono Arc. That's Chrono Arc. I sincerely hope that you enjoyed my playthrough of Chrono Arc. Uh, I didn't win this time around, but hopefully the next time I play, I'll win. And now that I've shown Chrono Arc to you guys, you know, maybe it'll come up in another Don't Be After Dark rando game. It's such a cool game, yeah. Super, super, super really cool. I, I love Chrono Arc really much. He might buy this one. <laughs> yeah. Look at me, Don't Feel Drops, I'm advertising my favorite games. You guys aren't ready for me to play Bug Fables one day. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, 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 anyway. That's it for me. I'm going to be readying myself up for Don't Feel After Dark. Um... So for now, enjoy your dinners, enjoy the rest of your days, get home safely, and make sure you appear at DOP After Dark. Okay. But I'm going to chat for just a little bit there. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope that you like Chrono Arc. I really hope that you like Chrono Arc. Because, uh... You know, I I think Millie Millie plays Darkest Dungeon, right? A lot on a lot of the time on Twitter, I just see Millie say, "Yo, I'm playing Darkest Dungeon. I can't I can't stop playing Darkest Dungeon." Alira Senpai, she plays uh, Xenoblade, I think. I think Anna Senpai plays a lot of Pokemon. Chrono Arc is one of those games for me where I just boot it up and I'm just like, "Yo, let's get another run of Chrono Arc in," because it's really challenging, you know. Not only is it like really cool and anime aesthetically, but it's got a lot of that really mysterious story that just makes you want to unlock more and more and more of it. Honestly, even though I put, even though I sank, let's see how many hours into it. Yeah, even though I sank about a hundred and something, a hundred and twenty-six hours into the game, I don't even think I've seen like. 30% of what the game has to offer. This game has been in production for like almost four years now. Maybe even more. Thank you very much, Galea, for the lunch money. Really, really, really appreciate it. So I'm pretty sure that there's like a whole lot of content in this game. And it's one of those like really cool games that like nobody knows about too much. So, uh, you know, me showcasing it to you guys is uh, something that I think is really cool. So, yeah. Yeah, boy, I think so. I think so. On their on their dev page, I think that they said something about the first release of the first like public release of Chrono Arc was sometime in 2019. So it's 2023 right now, and you know who knows how long it took them just to get to the point where they could release a, a pre-alpha or something on Steam. So yeah, it's a nice discovery. Heck yeah. You always show off really cool games to help you. Hell yeah. What's your favorite cake flavor? Red velvet? Red velvet, yeah. <laughs> or maybe Oreos. 2024. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. 2024. Five years. Every game you're showing us is so amazing. Yeah. Come to Don't Feel Drum Side Stream to find new games that hopefully you guys will enjoy. Let's feel. Thank you so much, Arcana. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Generous and old spiel. Red velvet based. Red, red velvet expensive. Red velvet expensive. Your VA is just wow. Yeah. Um, maybe I'll try doing that hex hey why are you voice sometime again. But like I said, it's kind of hard to do. But I think as long as I just like put my mouth like really close to the microphone and go, yo, it's me. Wanting to use that wow 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 <laughs> It's really funny. I can I can make I can if I if I get good enough at this voice I can use it and be like yo I can be Hex Haywire anytime I want. I can just copy Hex's voice and be like 
I, I can make Hexy say whatever I want. I can make some. I can make him say. I can make him say something like, "Hmm, what would be something? What what is something that Hex Hay would never say? What is something that Hex would never ever ever say? But I can make him say now that I have his voice. Hmm. Let's see. You want you want him to say? You've never heard him say, "I want to be a cowboy baby." I'm pretty sure I've heard Hex say that like 20 times. I am happy. <laughs> I love Hatsune Miku. That's right. I've never. Oh, that that that's that's so good. Dopey, dopey. I am happy because I found my favorite Hatsune Miku song. <laughs> Thank you very much, Vy, for the lunch money of five dollars. So, Hex, what's your favorite Hatsune Miku song? Well, well, I just really love. See what what's, what would be a really funny song for for Hex to like? That's Hatsune Miku. I really like. Hmm. Hmm. A very funny Hatsune Miku song. Hmm. It's a really funny Hatsune Miku song. So, Hex, what's your favorite Hatsune Miku song? Oh, I really like. Oh, 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 I really like. No, no, I, I lost it, I lost it. <clears throat> so, Hex, what's your favorite Hatsune Miku song? Oh, my favorite Hatsune Miku song. That's 100% definitely. Popey, popey, po, popey, po. <laughs> Viva Happy, yeah, it had to be popey, popey, po, popey, po. Viva Happy. Oh, Viva Happy is a good song. Len's Banana Song. Luca. Uh, oh, how did, how did that go? Dopey. Dopey. I'm so happy, Dopey. Dopey, I'm... Dopey, I'm... Dopey, I'm so happy. I really, really can't wait to listen to more Vocaloid songs. Nah, I, I lost it, I lost it, I lost it. I lost it. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> but it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun to do things like this. Have the songs y'all name are Lucas songs. Well, if Hex, if Hex, if Hex doesn't even know how to name Miku, do you think he's gonna know? You think that he's gonna know Luca? I don't know. Nah, I don't know. I don't know if he'd know Luca. No Len. He might know Len, but I'm not. I, I don't know about Luca. Maybe just just be friends. But even that one, no idea. Sounds like a grandpa. Dopey! Dopey! Hatsune Miku, I don't know who that is, Dopey! I played Chrono before, but gave up because it's getting confusing hard. But after watching you play, maybe we'll give it a try again? Yeah, or just do hope mode. <laughs> you just got you. You're wheezing. Grandpa Hex. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So Hex, what, what's your opinion about uh, Hatsune Miku? Why do they keep making more... <laughs> Dopey, I don't know why they keep making more... Snow Mikus. Eh? Why? What's wrong with all the Snow Mikus, Hex? They release a Snow Miku every year, even if it doesn't snow outside of my porch. <laughs> <laughs> Hex, Hex, there's there, there's there's no snow on your porch. Isn't that great? No, I hate it. You hate it? Why? Do you really love snow or something? It's not that dopey. Without any snow, there's nothing to keep the kids off my lawn. <laughs> 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 Your granddaughter. <laughs> Your granddaughter calls me grandpa. Hex, 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 what did you say? I said, Your granddaughter calls me grandpa. Hex, what does that even mean? <laughs> I don't know, but get off my lawn. <laughs> All right, Hex. All right, Hex. 
<laughs> eh, hi hi. Hi hi. Text me when you get home. <laughs> <laughs> Get off my lawn, I wanna be a cowboy. I can't be a cowboy with all these kids on my lawn, Dopey. <laughs> dopey, do you need your nap? <laughs> yeah, I better nap before Dopey after dark. All right, anyway, that's gonna be it for me, everybody. That's me, Dopey on drop side. Dopey on drop side is me, and I am going to go take a nap after a shower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, I'll do that last one and then I'll end the stream. Dopio! Dopio! Yeah, Hex. Have you seen my glasses, Dopio? No, Hex. I haven't seen your glasses anywhere. What's up? Good. I ain't wearing glasses, Dopio. <laughs> 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 Please do. Bye, 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 bye. See you later. See you later. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Alright, goodbye, 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 goodbye. <laughs> Sorry, I was just looking at chat to see your reaction to my hex jokes. <laughs> Uh, no, don't tell, don't tell, don't tell Hex. Don't have tell, don't tell Hex. Don't tell Hex, okay? He's not gonna understand. <laughs> Bye.